If you missed yesterday's show, this came up. I have thought about drumming a lot since we played in the band together. Yeah. Yeah. And I think... Well, you said you were going to buy another electronic drum kit. Yes. In <laughs> fact, I wonder if anyone's made the same mistake three times. Because <laughs> fool me once, Shame that on. was my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fool me twice. No, fool, fool me once is their fault. Fool me once is yours. The first time I bought the electronic drum kit and sold it, that was the electronic drum's fault. Yes. Second, Second time, time was, was my fault. fault. So, if I buy it again, is it back on the kit? <laughs> Because if it is, I might buy another electronic <laughs> drum kit. I've been scouting today. <laughs> I know, I've been mate. having a look. It was that Roland one with the more drum looking like electronic pads yeah. that you really liked, wasn't Realistic it? Realistic feel. Yeah. They're not as cheap. Um, <laughs> although think- the good news is yeah. a lot of people have Didn't been- say it was $10,000? That was a huge lie. Was it? Maybe the best in the world is. Yeah. Um, but- for around the thousand dollar mark, oh, good. you can get a pretty good second hand pair mm. on eBay. And there are people out like me, um, out there who are selling. I've, I've been there twice in my life yeah. on eBay You've selling. You've been fooled twice by this, mate. You've been fooled twice. You're about to be fooled thrice by the want, the. Well, I'm ben- being enticed the, now, I think. The, the want for an electronic drum kit. Look. I understand that this is the thing you say before you're about to be fooled thrice. Yep. But this time, I just feel like it's the right decision <laughs> and I won't end up regretting the electronic drum kit. Th- 131060 right now. Have you been fooled thrice? Have you got the hat trick? The triple mistake. <laughs> Have you made the same mistake three times. <laughs> Yeah, thirteen ten six. Because are you listening to me now? Going, I know I've done this twice and sold the kit both times. Yeah, but I really feel like I'm going to do it this time. Is there another? Is there another hobby you started up three times? Have you been fooled three times? Because I haven't been fooled thrice, thrice yet. If no. I don't sell them, <laughs> if you don't buy it, you mean? Yeah, well, I know if I buy them and don't sell them. <laughs> and uh, I'm I stand on the cusp. Of either greatness or a mistake. <laughs> I've owned two sets of electronic I drum think I kits. know which category it falls into. I'm not so sure it's greatness, and it still could be a mistake. <laughs> I've owned two sets of electronic drum kits in my life. You think you're buying a third? I've sold both of them because I didn't have... I don't think they were great kits, first of all. Um, <laughs> not the, and I nothing didn't, to do with the kit, mate. I just didn't have the time to practice or the inclination. And I didn't... Whilst I had inside me the vibe that I was a good percussionist, I didn't really know where to start. Having now played with our band Mm -hmm. and done so, so well a Mm. few weeks ago at In Excess's Never Tear Us Apart, I realise I might just have what it takes. And I think I sold those kits in moments of low confidence for my skills. Well, we heard from Chris Martin about an hour ago on the show and he was coming up in the Deja Vu Hour. Yep. You were definitely one of the people he was talking about with who needs to continue practising. That's not what he said. He said two of us need to continue practising. Yeah, and then he said it wasn't you, mate. No, he didn't. Good drumming. (laughs) No, it was um, an hour so, ago. Who remembers uh, what happens an hour ago? <laughs> so, I would like you to buy another one for the chance to actually practice, and I'm sure Jack, as a fellow bandmate, would 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 agree. The fact, though, of the matter is, you'll buy one, you won't use it, and then you'll sell it as a great loss. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> like no. Like you have twice before. No, no, no. Hence, you'll be fooled thrice, and I don't want that happening to my mate. If we don't, th- if we repeat history, then. If we don't repeat history, <laughs> sir, then how may we undo her mistakes? Well, we Winston don't repeat Churchill. History. No, you, it's not Winston Churchill. And you learn from history. And you do- <laughs> There's a lot of great quotes about history. <laughs> Call us if you know any. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but only, one, only ones that mean it's okay to make the same mistake three <laughs> times. But here's the thing. If I buy the electronic drum kit, I haven't made the mistake. I've only made the mistake learn if I sell from it. from history. Sean on 131060, have you been fooled thrice? Ahoy, lads. Ahoy, Sean. Yes, uh, with the golf clubs. Yeah, you bought three sets of golf clubs. Yeah, well, I got gifted my first one. Yep. And then easy come, no, easy go. Yeah, well, then I was no good at golf, so I thought it must be the sticks. Yep. Got got the graphite shaft. No, nah, still no good at golf. Yep. Got a third set. Now they're all collecting dust. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. So and three sets later, mate, you just don't want it. You, you've either got to go practice or don't play golf. <laughs> Exactly Sean, what the you feedback need. Hamish what? needs for electric drums. I think, Actually practice or don't play at all. I think what you might need is an expensive membership. <laughs> 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 then you'll be motivated. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Josh, have you been... Ahoy, Ahoy to you. Ahoy, Josh. Um, full three times? <laughs> I have, I have. <laughs> Gym equipment, it did it to me, boys. Oh, I've actually okay. done. I've done two treadmills. Do you? <laughs> yeah, Ames, Ames had two treadmills. Two treadmills hasn't gone big for a third yet. Two treadmills. Oh, yeah, just the one boxing what, what, bag. What was it for you? 
I had the bench press when I was 17 years old, mm-hmm. yep. used it as a PlayStation chair. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot, of, I, a lot of people get the bench press handy about three months out of schoolies. <laughs> That's good. Then, better, uh, better just get a huge upper body before schoolies. Um, then, got the, then got the ab cruncher. Yep. yep. Used it as a computer chair. Yep. yep. And now I've got the exercise bike, which is my clothes horse. Yeah, very handy though, because those sticky handles really good for sort of singlets and stuff. Josh, they are a good away. clothes horse. <laughs> don't, let, I mean, Hayden, this is meant to be sage advice for you. Don't go in for a third electronic drum kit. I just, uh, Josh, I'd recommend don't get the exercise bike. Get a watt bike. You need something that's better. You need <laughs> no, better equipment. That's not the answer. Uh, Peter, been fooled Pete. thrice. Hello, yes. Pete. Sorry, Pete. Yeah, have you made the same mistake three times, Pete? I have. Yes, I've been married three times. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> so have I in a way, Pete, because the drum kits were like my wife's. I <laughs> know oh, um, they weren't because I sold them on eBay. <laughs> hey, Peter, are you still in that third marriage, though? Oh, no, definitely not. Okay, you've married and divorced three times. So you're three looking times. at a possible yeah. fourth, Pete. Did anyone caught your eye? Uh, not as yet, no. Hey, Pete, you won't go again, will you, mate? I very much doubt it. Yeah. I yeah. think you should. <laughs> <laughs> Never say no to love, Pete. Hey, I'm not because I love electronic drums. <laughs> Pete, did you just love proposing? <laughs> <laughs> like after the first, I'm two, sure you had a relationship. I know, but you could go like, like maybe I don't go down the marriage and just you know be in a relationship. Did or do you love the excitement of proposing? Oh no, no, not at all. Um, I, I think it's just more. I thought this one was the right one, and unfortunately, they're all um, the wrong same, one. But Pete. they're wrapped in different clothing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. the wonderful journey of life, Pete. May it, <laughs> may you continue adventuring. Ned, you've got an offer for Hamish. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy to you, Ned. Ahoy, Ned. What's up? Hamish, I've got... Forget what everyone says. I've got something for you. I've got a Roland TD-12, okay? Very similar to what you... Sorry, Roland TD-20, very similar to what you were using uh, when you played. I am offering to sell it to you if you are interested. And Ned, why don't you want this kid anymore? He's got two of them. (laughs) (laughs) No, because I'm married and I've got two kids now, so... That doesn't sound anything like me. I'm married and I only have one kid, so I should have plenty of time to play. But I don't. I work full-time and part-time, and I just don't have enough time for it. Well, you, you, you would you, work have, more than Hamish, for sure. Have you loved the kit, Ned? Has it been great I, fun? I love it. I yeah. absolutely love it. It will. Get, I guarantee it will make you a better drummer. What's the, uh, Ned, what's the price? Uh, Hamish, I was about to put it on for about two and a half, but... Jeez. Yeah, look, it is pretty top notch. As yep. I said, it's TD, TD twenty. Yep. Uh, the KV, the module alone is worth about two thousand dollars if you've probably done your research yeah, on yeah, eBay. Yeah. Didn't yeah. know you had the so, KV. Yeah. Um, look, I reckon I'd give it away for about two two. Gee, that's a giveaway. Um, Ned, can I think about it overnight? <laughs> <laughs> Have, he nearly um, said yes, Ned. Just, uh, <laughs> said- have to run it past my tour <laughs> manager. <laughs> Hey, Hamish, I'll, I'll look. I'll send you photos if you like. It's yeah. fully customised with extra pads and Ooh. and a couple of symbols. As I said, very similar to what you. Hey, I'm online to... looking at other prices here. Two two is a good price, mate. Just, is, it, just, is, it, is it a one time only offer, Ned, or can he come back? To, can he come look, back tomorrow? Uh, yeah, no, come back to me tomorrow. <laughs> okay, you get, I reckon. I reckon that was poor from you, Ned. I reckon you could have got him across the line. <laughs> foolish, Ned. Now, now you've got a chance for rationality to sneak in. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Ned. Thanks for the. <laughs> Stick around, everybody. Our mate Brad Blanks is somewhere in the world, Ham, that I think you'd love to be. I know that seems peculiar, but I think you would you would love to swap with Brad. And is, he's he's in the place now. We'll it, talk to him after this. Ned's house. Ham, <laughs> <laughs> hey, and uh, yesterday, uh, for people listening to the show, we were discussing the topic of um, electronic drums. Yes. Of me, and maybe for the third time in my life, mm-hmm. buying an electronic drum kit. Because for regular listeners of the show, you'd be aware a couple of weeks ago, you, me, Kathleen Jack here, we played a gig yeah. at the Logie Spit Roast Party. We played In Excess's Never Tear Us Apart. We absolutely nailed it. Yep. And if it was either of you guys going, if Jack was saying, I want to buy an electronic guitar, I'd say, mate, get one. You're very good at it. <laughs> you going, I want to buy another trumpet. <laughs> They're called electric guitars. <laughs> <laughs> if you were like, I want to get a manual trumpet, I go, mate, get an analog trumpet because you know you, you were, electronic you were, guitar. You were, pretty, <laughs> you were pretty shaky. I think electronic guitars are hot licks by Mattel. <laughs> but if you look, if you want, Ages like, I want a windy trumpet, like a no batteries trumpet, yeah. I'd be like, mate, you know, you've got a few. You don't need any more. But if you want. 
get one. And that's what the, the vibe I was sensing in here when I was saying I should get electronic drums was... You know, it was there or thereabouts, because I know I've had two kits before and I've sold them. But yes. as I was trying to stress to you guys yesterday, it's because they were very, they were they were junk kits. Yes, you are thinking of making this day mistake three times. It's not a mistake if I'm good at it this time and I really love them. And you and you keep with it, you don't on-sell it. So Ned, a listener of the show yesterday, rang up and he said, listen, I've got a very, very good, like, you know, professional quality set. Yeah. They're $2,200. He, he made a good offer to you. He was going to sell them for two and a half on eBay. So he mm. said, you know, I know they'll go to a good home, but that's a lot of money. So mm. I said, obviously, I'm going to think about it, Ned. You've got to get back to him today. Overnight. Well, Ando, I did get back to Ned today. Mm-hmm. Over the course of the afternoon, I called him a few times mm. as I was thinking through um, what I was going to do about these drums. And I've got the history of those phone calls um, put to music for you. <laughs> Hello, Ned speaking. G'day, Ned. It's Hamish. How are you? Hey, good. Yourself? Yeah, really good. Well, a bit tired, actually. I've been up all night thinking about those drums. <laughs> Fair enough. Lying awake in the middle of the night Thinking how the heck I'm living with no drums in my life Thinking about the snare and the bass and those toms Oh, Haim, he wants to have drums Oh, Haim just wants to have drums When you're slamming on the skins, how does it feel? Huh? <laughs> really good Doing radio with Andy is nice, but we can't be doing fart jokes for the rest of our life. Gotta find a job where I can be number one, and that's probably electronic drums. Yeah, he might have a gift for e-drums. What's the best song you've played on it? Uh, probably Hotel California. Cool. Do you reckon I can play that? Without a doubt. That's all I really want. Some drums. If I became really good, do you know what a session drummer earns or a professional drummer? Oh, look, I'll be honest, I, I used to play Macedonian Wet, right? Yep. Now, they throw money uh, traditionally over the band, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, that's uh, good. You know, get up to about you know, 100, 200 per gig. Right. So, so within 10 gigs, this thing's paid for itself. Time to get the business deal done. Let's talk turkey. We're both men, we're both businessmen. You are offering 2,200. Yeah. Would you accept 2199? <laughs> Sold, mate. Sold. Yes! 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 <laughs> I got a bloody kit! <laughs> Woo! Oh, hey, he's gone and bought drums. Yeah, hey, he's gone and bought drums. Okay, I'll just have a quick word to my wife. No, of course. Look, as I said, you're more than welcome to come down. No, 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 man, I'm good. Don't worry. Mate, I'm I'm the two I see at my house, and if you can't have the... (laughs) If you can't have the second in charge make some decisions, why, why'd you give him the role, you know? This is fine. No permission required. Um, uh, bought some drums. What did you say? I don't think I said anything. Oh, well, what did you call for then? Nothing. Just to tell you I love you. Okay. And I got some drums. So, I'll see you tonight. Drums. What drums? The drums from the office? Uh, some good ones. We have a very clear no drum rule. I don't want a drum, and I definitely don't want Sonny to be a drummer. I don't want drums. I'm in love with a beautiful girl, and we do lots of jokes to spice up our world. Like pretending someone can't have drums. No drums. No drums. Where? No. Yeah. Okay, I love you. See you later. And I love you. No okay. drum rule. <laughs> Can't say it loud enough. Can't drum it into your head. The girl's just trying to have fun. What she means is she wants him to have drums. Yeah. No drums. Where? No. Wants to have drums. Mm. No drums. I don't want drums. Let him have drums. Woo. No drums. Cool. The deal is done. Very clear. No drum rule. I don't want a drum. I think that means drums. No drums. No. Drums. Have you run Neg back? Oh, I've had to transfer the money. You can't, mate. You no, can't because have... then that's my next move to Zoe. It's too late. <laughs>
<laughs> so now I'm between rock and roll and a hard place. <laughs> the title of my new book yeah. about when you have drums, but there's nowhere to put them because they've been told very firmly yeah, to no not drum. keep them here. Yeah, but but you- they also can't live at my house. You've got quite a bit of space at your no, house. No, I've got that much of your stuff at my house. Oh, come on, no, mate. mate. You, you, friends all your, friends. All your props from yesteryears of props. <laughs> equipment that might come in handy. When the apocalypse hits I'm, I'm, and we need entertainment, I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> your house will be like a bunker of fun. <laughs> no, Same no, Andy. Think about it, though. I have. And uh, it was um, much publicised on Friday's show. Last Thursday and Friday, one of the big uh, issues in the team was certainly the purchase of my new electronic drum kit. Yep. Off the back of performing so successfully in our band mm. with Conrad Sewell a couple of weeks ago at the Logie Spit Roast Party where we did In Excess Is Never Tear Us Apart, mm. um, I was rehearsing and playing on a borrowed kit for yep. that. Uh, it was Jack's brother's kit, really low end, um, offensively low end. <laughs> For what I was trying to accomplish, more of a toy, really. Well, you guys were on actual instruments, like you, you're on concert level instruments. Well, yeah, I had a, a fairly good piano, and Jack yeah. had a um, Jack, ele- you, you an electronic guitar, top of the line electronic <laughs> guitar. And now my electronic drums were rubbish, and your analog trumpet was fine, <laughs> and your electronic keyboard was good. Yeah, it was good. Um, and so I was facing a huge uphill battle there, mm. a little bit like, but I survived, like the barefoot runners from Kenya yeah. who go, I don't, I don't need the fancy gear, um, and they still win the Olympics, <laughs> although in a way, not like them, because yeah. I finished and went, no, I do need the fancy yeah, gear. Yeah, you did. And you, I look, I- You I, complained. You almost uh, cried about it. Well, I mean, I, was, I just highlighted the fact sometimes that it just was ridiculous that I was being asked to perform- yeah. World class, a, perf- a world class performance on rubbish gear. But Don Bradman didn't have the best bats. He did actually. <laughs> a lot of players are going back to those <laughs> real skinny light ones. <laughs> so now the purchase has been made. Uh, to bring anyone anyone up to speed that didn't listen last week, I do. I have decided that it, what we did in that band has awoken in me mm. uh, a childhood dream, a passion to play oh. drums. And are we really going to rob kids of their passions and dreams? Is that the example we want to set on this show? No, of course not. We want to set the example of chasing your dreams. And if a child like myself wants to drum and he wants to get the right gear, I mean, you want a trumpet, so you're allowed a trumpet. Jack wants a guitar, guitar, he's allowed a guitar. Yeah. Your wife said no to the drums, and we've been told here by the uh, office administration staff that it can't live here like last time because it just clogs up the hallway. Well, it's not too bad, and I think for a radio (laughs) station, it's a pretty cool look. So to bring everyone up to speed, (laughs) the electronic drums are here. They're just outside the studio. I actually think when we have guests in, like big international music guests, we'll get a lot of respect for having that kid out there. Hey, I agree with you. Unfortunately, the man upstairs doesn't. You've got till Friday to get him out of here. No, look, I'm going to have to negotiate. This is this is the first so you, chapter you, of my book. Did your wife say that she, you could have him? Look out for my book soon coming out. We, it, it's, yeah. it is called Between Rock and Roll and a Hard Place <laughs> because this is my problem. I've got all this talent that I just need to refine. Yep. Can't have them here. Wifey not letting them be at home. Yeah. I'm she not said giving, hire an office. I'm not, <laughs> she said she find said another, find, find an another off-site office. area. Yeah. That's obviously very expensive. Yes. I mean- we could squeeze them in at home. They only take up sort of half a room. Yeah. So why don't you do that? Well, she's. This is what this was the topic of much of the weekend. Mm. Um, honey, come on, let me. Bring, I said, do I? We have them at home for a month, for a sort of a cooling off period. Mm. And she just said, she just keeps. She does this really cute thing where she keeps slamming her fist on the table <laughs> and saying the words "no drums on the property." Okay. So, reading between the lines, there, yep. I was able to negotiate down to the following deal. Okay. If in one month I can show her, mm. I said, what about this? Tell me a song, any song, mm. and I'll drum it in a month. And if I can play that song properly, then I'm allowed to bring the drums home. And she said, Stairway to Heaven by Led yeah. Zeppelin. Now, I couldn't immediately remember the song. No. It's, a, it's an eight and a half minute song. Yeah, it's long. The good news is, for the first six and a half minutes, there's no drums. Yeah. <laughs> That's the positive news. Because when we got home from dinner on Saturday night, I was... Sitting in bed, listening to it under the covers, going, "Oh, good, good, good. Here we go. This is. I've done it." She might have picked a Led Zeppelin song with no drums. Then towards the end, mm. oh, it gets big. I've just got a bit here mm. that I've randomly selected quickly for people. Have a little listen. That's okay. Yeah, that's a straight drummer. Yeah. It starts getting a little harder. Yeah. I could do 
do that. That's okay. I'm not sure. You do that. I don't think you can. You don't think you can do that? No. This isn't even the hard bit. Because then he goes really fast. Don't have the guy's name at hand, <laughs> but the drummer. I mean, there's a lot of hitting in there. He's hitting all the different drums. Like, yeah, he's all... So are you, are you going... Are you, do you have to drum that perfectly? I have to do the whole song. But do you but perfectly do exactly how they did it? Is that, the, is that the bet you've made? Well, I mean, the bet is I do the song. Here's the other part of no, the bet, Jack. Pl- I was just wondering. No, Endo, Endo. No, if I may. Did, if I may. No, let me just yeah, clarify. No, I may. you may not. Because let me just clarify one thing. There we go. Birthday do you, boy do you, have, do you have to do it exactly like the song? Because remember, you tried that at the NXS, and then you went back to drumming your, your way. way. My way. I think I'm allowed to do it close enough. So okay. someone would go, that sounds as, that's, I'd accept that as a performance. You're a chance to win then. Here's my two other asks. Jack. Could you learn the guitar bit? Because I'd like to do it with a guitar. Oh, God, no. Jeez, I mean, it's it not as easy as uh, the in excess part. <laughs> yeah. It's probably it's one of the hardest songs in the world <laughs> on guitar. So, would you... It's just a month of practice. <laughs> I mean, I'll try. <laughs> so, what, Jack's going to go around And, to and your... I was wondering if Cam, your brother, who's yeah. a pretty good singer, if he could sing it. Oh, it's pretty hard. So singing. <laughs> My brother's a good... Guys, crack. are we... I mean, come on. What how about it, a band, what, mate? What does Andy get to do? Well, well I, I mean, there's no I trumpet watch. in it. <laughs> Well, I mean, we're helping out a bandmate here. This is like know, a benefit like, concert for me to get the drums home. Yes. I think, I mean, I think my brother, I, I wouldn't want him performing with Jack's guitar. <laughs> I just don't think that does him justice. Uh, let oh, alone, he's too good for us. <laughs> he's he's too, definitely too good for Jack's guitaring, um, putting aside your drumming. it's um, The thing is, so can I get this right? We all go around. I'll just come around. <laughs> I bring my brother around. Yeah. Who's the front man of band. You guys all sit there and you yeah. play for Zoe. And yeah. at the end, she says whether you can keep the drums on. Yeah. Or not. Well, I probably have to do it in here because I can't bring the drums home until I've passed the test. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I'm just getting nods, sh- shakes from out there. We can't have it here for another week. Guys. It's hey, here for one month. What? It's an ex- think of it an exchange. All you're student. doing is trying to bake. Think of it as an I'm exchange. I'm thinking of it student. as a Julian Assange at the moment. It's got nowhere to go. <laughs> so protected. And it's just going to be trapped in exile. It's going to be put in a cupboard out there. Let's give it amnesty. Let's just <laughs> let, wait for this thing. We'll sort out its legal problems. All right. It has nowhere to go. <laughs> we'll have to work it out. It's oh. <laughs> Hamish and Andy. Good afternoon, everyone. Hamish and Andy back to drive you home, and Hamish. He's got his drumsticks out. Turn the, turn the bed off for a second, Jack. This is what I've been putting up with all day. And that's in beat, which is a drumming term for on tune. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, when you, back, say that's, when you say that's in beat, which isn't a term, <laughs> when you say that's in beat, yep. in time, that potentially would have been a more accurate way to that's reflect something. Yep. Um, we don't know because we don't know what time it's meant to be in. I'm telling you, <laughs> from a drummer's perspective. And the reason I've got the sticks out today, Endo, is yeah. because I've re-remembered my challenge. <laughs> and my challenge would be if people have been listening to the show. Yeah. Well, you've bought, you've, you've invested in, yep. three times a charm, another electronic drum kit. The most expensive one you've bought to date. This one for real. I've You're bought like- and sold two in my lifetime, but I really feel like... This is my time. I've got two and a half weeks to learn a very difficult song that my wife has told me. I have to be able to drum this song, otherwise I'm not allowed to bring the drum kit home. And you're not allowed to keep it here, because the, the, the work here yep. does not want him here. So uh, yep. anyway, we'll cover, we'll cover that off a little later on the show, Ham, because after this... And uh, let's talk cruise. Yes. I've been going through... We've given away now over 70 people, uh, over 70 tickets for our cruise. We leave next Monday on the People's Cruise. Yeah. I've just been going through a few of the people we're cruising with. Yeah. They're an amazing bunch. Great. And there's one guy I found in particular. You realise I would have given you research amnesty. Well, I haven't gone through all of them. <laughs> okay, okay. But one guy stuck out <laughs> yeah. as an asset. Really? Like, you want this guy on board. <laughs> I'm in a drummer's pick, Orlando. Yes, and, and that's the you're not a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the name of the special kind of pickle given to someone um, that needs to drum for his life to keep his drum kit. Well, let's do a quick recap for people. Um, about two weeks ago, mm-hmm. 
I raised the issue on this show. I really like the drums. We played that gig at the Logie's Fit Roast Party. I was okay. Yeah. Did all right. I think, like, actually, I thought you did a very good job. I got a taste. for. I had to, we had to learn one song, mm. um, In Excess Is Never Tear Us Apart. And off that, I said to you guys, listen, I know I've bought two electronic drum kits before in my life and ended up selling them because I never played them. But maybe this time for real. Maybe I really do it. Bought the drum kit. Probably didn't check it off a hundo percent with my wife. Mm. Uh, she said, no way you bring the drum kit home. It's a drum kit. It mm. takes up the whole room. Yep. Um, so I said, listen. And then everyone here is saying, you can't keep it at work. No, you can't keep it at the radio they station. Got, they got annoyed with the other one for being here and finally got rid of so it. So I'm between rock and roll and a hard place. <laughs> and the deal was made that on June 24th, yes. the last day before we go on holidays, I said to my wife, just tell me, give me one song. And if I can learn one song, I'll, it'll show you my dedication. Yep. And I'm allowed to bring the drums home. She said... Stairway to Heaven, which is a song by a band called Led Zeppelin, if you're not aware of it. It's an eight and a half minute song. Six minutes and no drums. No drums. <laughs> Six minutes for no drums. And that's, that's great. But I think the drummer did all the work you could do in eight minutes in the space of two at the end because that's the he thing. really drums hard. If you listen to the whole song, here's just a bit near the end where you go, oh, there's drums in it. Yeah, have a listen. Here it comes. <laughs> and I've I've watched this a lot of times on YouTube, and yeah. he's using all the drums. <laughs> John Bonham's his name, and he's uh, using them all. Legs and hands. <laughs> legs, feet, hands, head. He, he knows what he's doing, and he's right on the beat. So, hey, Mish, <laughs> you've, so got, <laughs> you've got okay. You've got yourself two and a half weeks left now. Yep. Now and we you have to do that perfectly. Awesome. We, what we should we'll organise your wife to see it on that day, yep. and she'll either say yes or no. You're taking this seriously, though. I mean, you've got yourself... Well, I am and I'm not, because the drum kit's out there, mm. and I keep looking at it, because... I see you on it occasionally. Yeah, but the, the, the it's Everest. Mm. The mountain is so hard to climb. Okay, so here's the thing. I sit down, mm. and I get the sticks out, mm. and I sit there, and, but I just keep listening to the song, and the, uh, all I listen to in the car is that song. Yeah, I've heard. I've been in the car with you, and but it's the, a sort of the, the problem is, Anna, it's like someone who can't paint, just pacing back and forth in front of the Mona Lisa going... Where? Where do I start? <laughs> yes. Maybe if I do a pencil outline <laughs> of her head yeah. I'll st- and I get some paints, I start filling it in. And I'm just every which way I try and attack this problem, I realise that what I'm trying to do is recreate a piece of art mm. that I'm that might be, even though I'm a great natural percussionist, mm. might be outside I might not be allowed to rely on natural percussive mm. skill alone. And you know what? The whole time I've been going, this is a familiar feeling. Mm. What is this feeling I'm feeling? And it struck me. In year five, when I was 10 years old, we had a thing in our school called the Maths Talent Quest, I think. or yep. Like you had to pick a project to do, had to have something to do with maths. Now, my older brother was already at high school and he was pretty good at maths. So I really wanted to pick a project that impressed the household. Because yes. Locke was already in year seven. No, he's math and And was like doing algebra. So yep. I was like, all right. Dad was very impressed with how he was going at high school. So I had to think about it. I was like, I'm going to do something to really blow the, the family away here. Yeah. And I submitted in my proposal, and you get a month to do it, that I'm going to build a watch. I'm going to build... <laughs> <laughs> knowing nothing, knowing nothing about watches, I was like, I'm going to build a functional watch. And then for weeks and weeks, I would just think about like, right, so if you're building a watch, what hands. do you mean? Straps, hands. The numbers. I'm going to need cogs. <laughs> Like, literally, my plan was, I'm going to need cogs. And then I was thinking, maybe if I talk to Dad about it, he'll be able to cut some metal very small to make, essentially, a mechanical watch. And the be- the closest I came was going, I'll need something that every time it goes around 60 times, mm. it moves something else one time. Yeah. And that was as far as I got. Before I got, I got a book from the library on building a watch and realized, like, no. you've got to be one of the smartest people in the world. Yes. I, I just sort of downgraded that in the end to a project on how a watch works. Yeah, okay. Which was very bad as well, and I just photocopied bits no. and pieces out of the book <laughs> <laughs> the book I borrowed from the library and put it on coloured paper. Yeah. 131060, though, I'd like to take everyone back, because I'm sure everyone did that yes. at high school or at primary school. Yeah. Really ambitious projects yep. that you put your hand up for and said, like, at school, yep, we're going to do this. Yep. And then in the end, like, what did you compromise down to? I've got one after this. Okay, great. <laughs> so, it was 60. year eight for me. <laughs> <laughs> Group assignment as well. <laughs> Gosh, we fell short. <laughs> 
overly ambitious school projects here, and we just heard that you decided you'd try and make a watch from scratch when you were in yep. year five. A problem that I might say, like, eluded the greatest brains in the world yes. throughout history. Yep. But I, as a 10-year-old, thought, this will get me a gold yeah. medal at the maths <laughs> talent quest. Bloody hard to make a watch. Mine was science fair year eight. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pempathy's class group assignment. I was teamed up with Willie Neal oh, yeah. and David Halliday. We've gone home and gone, it'd be good if we could make a heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, We're going to need meat, <laughs> blood, and pipes. <laughs> so, we came back and with a proposal. Some sort of very small metronome or <laughs> medium <laughs> motor. <laughs> Came back with a proposal that we'd make a heart. And then Mr. Pemberty said, how are you going to do that? And he said, um, we'll just make the heart and the, the venous system so it comes out. like." And he's like, okay. What, as a model? Or as like a model. You, yeah, right. And God, it was bad. Uh, we went, <laughs> we, we, make to, it out? we went to Mitre 10 <laughs> and got ourselves just clear plumbing piping. Right. <laughs> yeah, just a tennis ball spray painted it red. Was that what you did? Is that... <laughs> just a mini footy. <laughs> no, to our to our credit, no, it, was... <laughs> it won't be much. <laughs> we cut a couple of tennis balls and spray painted it, so it did. Uh, it had both, elements. Um... We were trying to siphon it so it, like the water would continually go through. Oh yeah, you, mate, didn't, you didn't make a heart. <laughs> I've seen them. So what they look like. Maria, did you have an uh, an ambitious school project? Hi, boys. I did. I um in year six, I had to do like we were studying um, like the sea, and I had to pick something to do it on. And I was like, I'll do it on a blue whale. But I thought I would do a life size project. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest animal on earth. Yeah, well, in year six, I didn't realise that. And I thought, oh, no, I'll go, like I said to my teacher, I'm like, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'll glue some cardboard together. And she's like, no, okay. okay. Then, oh, your dad runs then, a cardboard factory. Yeah. And then, of course, I've looked it up and realised how big they were. And I was like, oh, how does one piece of cardboard sound? Yeah. I would love to so, have been your parents sitting out in the backyard with a tape measure, <laughs> stepping at 19 metres, going, jeez, we're going to need a lot of cardboard. <laughs> Thanks, Maria Jen. An overly ambitious school uh, project for you, Jen. What year was it? Uh, year 11. Oh, oh yeah. Right, okay. So, so getting close better. to knowing better. <laughs> but yeah, what'd you go for, I, Jen? I was trying to impress uh, an art teacher who was also an art historian. And um, the final project title that I'd spent weeks on was called uh, In What Ways Did St. Francis of Assisi Reject Bombastic Oratory? And how is this depicted in early Renaissance art? Yep. And I sat on it for about two months, and when I was a week out, it ended up literally being a PowerPoint on why I like art. And <laughs> Jeez, lots not, of pictures. not often you uh, blow most of the word count in the title, though, is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was I was really trying to impress. Uh, well, you know, at yeah, the well, start of the year, I'm I'm going to go gangbusters. Hey, so was Annie making a working human heart? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, wrap this up for us, pal. Um, an over. Ahoy, me hearty. Ahoy, Ahoy, you. Ahoy Brian. Overly ambitious uh, school project. Uh, grade six, we were going to build a self-contained bunker with a secret tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> we were, the, the idea was we were supposed to go orienteering, and in case we got lost, we can look look after ourselves. Yep. yep. So we got me and my mate Wayne went and cut a, cut a heap of sticks to reinforce after we dug our, after we dug the first tunnel. Yep. yep. And then. We did that the first day, and then on the Sunday at home, as we were digging, yep. got down to about 600 mil, maybe 800 mil, yep. and we got too hard, so we split the start the next day, but it rained, <laughs> and the hole was full of water, and we thought we were going to drown, <laughs> and we didn't go any further. Brian, Brian when you say the first tunnel, you just mean you just dug a bit of a hole. Like, well, could you get in the tunnel? Oh, it was probably up to a waist high by then, but we had our sticks it's... ready to reinforce it. So, <laughs> then it comes yeah, no, 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 I'm not questioning your stick gathering ability. <laughs> but Brian, a tunnel's not a tunnel until you go under anything. As a hole. <laughs> the yeah, moment no, you're just standing in a hole. We're supposed to go down first, then to build it. To build like, the, the bunker, oh, right, then we we'll build the tunnel out. Off the shaft. Hey, but Brian, one <laughs> yeah. other question for which confused me a little bit is you said you're building this in case you go orienteering and get lost, but you won't know where your tunnel is if you get lost. <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, we sort of be safe. Instead of camping under a tree and getting soaking wet, we could have been on a tunnel and kept nice and warm. Yeah, that was no, the plan. Always right, good. So it's one of the first rules of the bush. Always good to have been out there earlier and to build a reinforced bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brian. No. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Stick around, everybody. Um, I I still... Me and my brother tried to build a bunker once. Like, I reckon every kid's had a crack at a bunker. Yeah, same as Andy. <laughs> All right, so in a nutshell, Ando, on the final show of ours before we go on our mid-year break, I believe that's the 24th of June, mm-hmm. I have got to drum with a band. I yep. assume we're going to get a good band together. I've got to drum, do the drum part for Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. Yes. This came about because I impulse bought an electronic drum kit. Would you say impulse? I mean, we discussed it for two days, and I kept saying, no, 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 don't buy it. You it was can... like a, it, impulses don't have to be quick. It was like a long, steady impulse. Yeah. I couldn't, I just couldn't get that monkey off my back <laughs> okay. until I bought the drum kit. Sure. So I bought it. My wife, fair to say I didn't run it through the, the appropriate channels, yeah. uh, financial and spatial mm. in the house. Drum, the electronic drum kit does take up quite a bit of space. She said, no, not bringing it home. So I said, fine, I'll leave it at work. Everyone in here said, no, no, having a drum kit in here. So now I am a bit jammed up. Oh, you're, drum, in, you're in limbo. I'm in limbo. And the only way to get out of limbo is by fulfilling the bet that I made with my wife, which yeah. is if I can play Stairway to Heaven mm. by the 24th. And we'll get her to be here there for wherever we judge. organize. Yes. And she'll have to sit and watch. If I can play it, it can come well, home I'd because like... I've shown dedication. Yep. And I've shown an interest in the drums because she's like, I don't just need another toy just clogging up the house mm. that you got bored of, which is a fair, it's a fair piece of um, so fair you, piece so of you feedback. started with lessons. I so today, today, well, here is a bit of the song. I mean, I'm just going to give people, show them the summit, yep. and I'm starting at base camp yep. here. This is the bit. If I can get this bit. There's a lot of it, a lot of bits in there. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of bits. And he's using both hands and both feet. <sighs> so don't even start me on the feet, mate. It's a bloody nightmare down there. So <laughs> usually my tactic is feel it out. Yep. I've been going online looking at the YouTube and tutorials. They don't help. Um, and the th- this is the problem that you and I encounter all the mm. time, Ando. Um, I know the answer. Mm. Practice. Yeah, <laughs> the answer is practice. So yeah. what I'm essentially doing is going, how do I get world class at something that I have no experience in? Yeah. What is the trick? What's the way? Yeah. And everyone you talk to goes, well, you have to practice. Yes. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But what yeah. is the way? Yeah. What's the trick? Should I get new sticks? Do I need a better stool? You often I feel like the stool's for... a little... I actually feel like my stool's a little stiff. You <laughs> definitely revert to equipment as First. being the problem. Yeah. Not first, second, third, fourth. No, but like if I've got to get the gear right first before I even start to think about practicing. Yes, and then by the time you get your gear right, you're not happy with your gear. I would say I've got world-level gear in Mm. about four or five sports. (laughs) 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 Like even just the best footy boots. So It's been a few years since I pulled them off. (laughs) Decided to try something new and novel. Yep. Sort of forced, Practice. yeah. Sort of, sort of suggested by Sammy, our producer, going, "Well, mate, just let's just get a teacher in. You can't just keep walking past the kit, yeah. bashing it, shaking your head, and talking about how hard the song is." <laughs> yeah. And it's a fair point. Mm. So I got in. I got in. Cam and he said, "Look," he said, "I'm up for this." He said, "But essentially, you want to climb it. You're trying to climb Everest in shorts and a t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Now you can have a very good Sherpa, mm. but you are you must still understand." You, we require somewhat of a miracle. Yeah. So that's fine, mate. Look, let's just sit down, start doing it yeah. all. I would say at the moment I can do parts of the song, especially mm. when it gets technical. So for the first time today I saw sheet music, which I didn't even know existed for a drum. So I'm just learning how to kind of basically read that. I reckon I can do the song at about 1% of the pace that the song is. 1% of the 1%. pace? 1%. So it's 80 beats a minute. I think I'm... Pr- I know you're so slow. That's under one beat a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hit one, but I actually, that you can was, hit that's, one beat every minute. That's actually not crazy. Because I hit the beat, then <laughs> I like read the song, learn about what I'm going to do, think about where the drums are. Yeah, it's close to one beat. You have to play it at oh, performance at the, at the tempo. tempo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did think about using that as a loophole. Here's, here's two things that Cam said. He goes, look, he gave me a few things to practice today. He said, work on that. Mm. And um, he said, look, you know, then we'll get this down next week and then the next week we'll get something else, next week we'll get something else, and he goes, you know, and, and, in, and in six weeks' time, like, we should be looking good. <laughs> and I went, no, who told you six weeks? Mate, it's 16 days. Yeah. 16 Actually, it's 15 days. days. 15 days and we're cruising. It's <laughs> Friday fortnight. He goes, I thought it was six weeks. No. And he goes, I said, no. He goes, oh, forget the Everest analogy then. Like, yeah. you're walking from Australia yeah. to the top of Mount Everest. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. And then he was like, oh, that's... Uh, 
So has he given up on you? Or is he hasn't given up on me, and yeah. I haven't given up on me. Mm. I'm committed, he's committed. Yeah. Here's the thing, Ando. And this is the thing I think you're going to roll your eyes at, but it's true. I played for a solid hour today with yeah. Cam, and I got off, and my, like, my right knee is a bit sore. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm nervous, because like kicking that drum... Just think the way I'm sitting or the position. The stool. And I like remember I had that old paper round injury in my yeah. right knee. I'm worried it's flaring that up. It's what you're pulling out. I'm not pulling out. I'm just I'm flagging it. <laughs> 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 I don't, I'll try. I'll kick it. I'll press on. But I'm just, I have flagged it. <laughs> hey, I'm over a decade and a half of friendship. Mm-hmm. Seems like you and I... I've had kind of a silent agreement that if someone makes a big claim, it's the other person's responsibility to make them follow up on it. I was thinking the other way around. I really? was thinking, we, we, you know, we look the other way. I don't know. You were calling me didn't out on dunking you, a basketball hoop you, you made you, me go down and do yeah, it. You could skateboard across <laughs> Springfield Gorge. And I was like, you know what, mate? I won't make you do that. No. No, it's very much been... If someone says anything, yep. which I regret, let's because... hold them to that. I think you said if Gary Ablett Jr. <laughs> doesn't shampoo his head, you'd quit your job. <laughs> I was pretty convinced for just the scalpel, yeah. he would shampoo it. Yeah. And it uh, turns out he doesn't. <laughs> no, look, sometimes part of our job is getting uh, caught up in the excitement, Ando, and sometimes things slip out. And I, I think what you're referring to is the excitement I was uh, encountering when a month ago, 25 days ago, I bought my third ever electronic drum kit. Mm. I've been down this path before. Mm. I have bought and sold two electronic drum kits because my initial enthusiasm to learn the drums petered out. But mm. this time I was certain mm. that it's something I really wanted to do. My wife said, no, I, I wish you hadn't have bought that. You're not allowed to bring them home because you won't use them and it's yep. going to clutter up the house. I said to her, name any song and within one month I will learn to play that song and I will show you that I'm keen on drums. And dedicated. She said, okay, what about Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin? And I thought, what a goose. She's picked that because that's a hard song on guitar. It's not hard on drums. (laughs) And true enough, for the first five or six minutes, there are no drums. Except then there are drums for the last two minutes of the song. And it certainly gets hard. Have a listen, everyone. Do that. Can't do that. <laughs> Can't do you're that. Yeah. Certainly the bit. So, Ham, hey, you've had, like you said, you know, twenty-four days oh, of practice. <laughs> We're at sea. We're at sea for bloody six days mate, of that. There was, a, there was a house drum kit on the boat. Oh, I'm not going to go on. You don't you get on, on the another. Cash crate. Yeah, don't get on another dude's <laughs> kit. Now, I'd rather fail this challenge than break the code of the drummer, Andrew. That's not a, that's and not that a code. Is why I did not get on another gentleman's kit. Now, look, my drum teacher did send me videos to learn tempos. Yeah. But we were at sea, yeah. and you get quite seasick looking at a screen. <laughs> so it's fair to say I didn't do any practice whilst on the ship. I also didn't do two, week, two weeks before that. No, that was more organising things, getting ready, <laughs> um, organising the drum teacher. I spent a week just walking past the drums. Mm. Look, I'm in a bad way. Can I just actually say to you, mm. I've got three options as I see them. Mm-hmm. And people that are good procrastinators like me would be familiar with this feeling. Yep. Option number one, mm. and this is this is honestly where I'm at, because mm. the, people have just heard that song. I'm not a drummer. Yeah. I've got very good natural percussion, but you actually do need to learn it. <laughs> it'd be like if I said to you're you, You're the Ando, only person who said you've got good natural percussion. It'd be like if I said to you, yeah. on Friday, yeah. you have to go for the Olympic weightlifting record mm. for the clean and jerk. <laughs> so you go, okay, what do I do? Um, I should learn some basic weightlifting techniques. Yeah. I might not be able to get up to the weight. I'll give it a go. Yeah. I should probably buy some shoes. I might need weightlifting <laughs> shoes. I might need some lycra. That's cool. where I'm at now, making sure I've got the right sticks. <laughs> Mate, you've been making sure so you've got the right sticks for the last three weeks. This is this is my options. I've got three options. And this is serious. Mm. Now, I, I did say that my when I was drumming, my, <laughs> knee, my knee was hurting, yeah. but I don't think you'll buy it if I pull out for a medical. No. So I was thinking of... I was thinking of I don't know. Like, am we playing along? To, am I playing along to a machine? Could, maybe is, I maybe I rip out the cord of the machine. We have a malfunction. This is what I want to talk to you about. Maybe I do an easier song. <laughs> <laughs> no, because your wife specified that. that, that. Yeah. Or annoyingly, option number three. I just don't think will work. What? Practice. <laughs> <laughs> I, just can't, I just can't see that working by Friday. Well, on the point of am I playing along to machine, etc. I thought that's not going to be exciting enough. That's not going to reflect it enough. What about a live gig? Was what I was thinking. And it just turns out on Friday, one of my mate's bands, a lot of people would know the band, the band's Bonja. I oh, yeah, know Bonja. You know Bonja. Triple J favourite Bonja. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're going to be playing their last ever gig. 
So I rang Regan. And I'm playing with them. And Well, I rang Regan and said, not at the gig, because I would not want to put any of their fans sure. through the pain give him, of you. Give them the offer, no. though. <laughs> <laughs> so during sound check, yep. earlier in the day, could you guys learn Stairway to Heaven and Hamish come down and play with a real band, bon- a legendary Australian they band? They won't want to do that, Andrew. They've, they've got things to they do. They do want to do that, and that's why Regan joins me. Regs, how are you? Good, mate. How are you? Oh, Regan, how's it going? Um, mate, that sounds really difficult for you guys. If you want to pull out and cancel this whole thing, let's just, as a gentleman's agreement, go no hard feelings and pull, pull on out. Mate, we've been rehearsing from half an hour ago. It's game on. It's, oh, yes. <laughs> I've been rehearsing for half an hour ago as well. So, Riggs, I'll let you know about this a week or so ago. Um, you've, uh, you mean, you've all flown See, back. they took a week off. Well, they've all flown back together to start <laughs> rehearsing. But I think individually, you are probably getting it down, were you? I've um, having a bit of noodle on the guitar yet. It's an incredibly difficult song to play. So Hamish, if you do want to swap to the guitar and I jump on the kit, that would be awesome. <laughs> She's I'm tempted. <laughs> this is like the day before the English exam, changing your book. <laughs> uh, uh, let's stick with original. Hey Regan, <laughs> honestly, let's have a chat off air because I, I would be interested in paying. Because I think if I pull out from medical, it'll be obvious. What if I paid one of the band guys to go down? <laughs> <laughs> like Regan, what's what's not in a band I situation? Have, let I me ask a serious music but question. Just so you know, I have an agreement with Riggs that they're all playing and that you will not yeah. infiltrate any. Yeah. But if, if well, I if I slip you a hundo, Regan, <laughs> um, like, and what if the, if the lead guitarist goes down clutching his knee, the, the gig's off. <laughs> like, you can't play on. It's disrespectful. Actually, yeah, you, yeah, with yeah, your yeah, knee, a knee problem, you probably would play on. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're locked in. We're, we're good to go, mate. The, the boys are pumped. Yeah, but I just hope that someone doesn't get an injury at about the five-minute mark. <laughs> And I throw the fight. <laughs> oh. Riggs, thank you, mate. Thank Jeez, you. Jeez, it's so you real. To, to Dan as well, who's going to be the normal drummer, is going to be sitting out just for this bit, Ham. Or jumping in in case my knee does go. <laughs> <laughs> we have to call time out. I'm, I'm going to tape your knee up. <laughs> so beautiful. Hang on, is there going to be an audience? Uh, not at this stage. Okay, but, uh, but yeah, thanks, Riggs. Bonjour's the band, everybody. Woo! Hamish, you now. A part of a real band. I'm practicing tonight. I gotta to practice. <laughs> Same as your Andy. Okay, I need my lucky sticks though. Hey, Michelle, driving you home. Very excited to have this lad back in the studio with us, Bernard Fanning. Thank you very much for coming in. How are you, chaps? Very yeah, good, well. sir. I mean, it's yeah. been it'd probably be three years since we've yeah. seen you. Or yeah. At least a couple. Um, yeah. The new single, Wasting Town, we're about to hear uh, soon when the forthcoming LP, uh, Civil Dusk. Congratulations. Um, th- three years since the last album. Are you the kind of guy that has to go away to some weird exotic place to get creative? I don't or? have to, but it's been happening. <laughs> Are you just often. saying that because it's a tax write-off? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Do, do, you, if, do you secretly have all the songs um, written? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just exactly. went to the Bahamas? I'm just a big fan of Spanish film. <laughs> yeah. Well, your wife is Spanish. Yes. Um, right. Now, I remember, like, we talked to you a long time ago, and I can't remember if this was on the show or off the show that you were talking to us about this. But well, the concept hopefully that, it wasn't private then. Yeah, <laughs> the, and, and you guys love, you guys are what's known as furries. <laughs> 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 And I think that's super cute. Yeah. You should be out and about Thank with it. Thank you so much. No, but you were talking about how you guys travel, go on different holidays, like go on a holiday like staying with an A and a B and a yeah. C, like to different destinations. That was supposed to happen. Still going? On our wedding anniversary. Yeah, no, right. I think it happened twice. Yeah, Peter. Because <laughs> we had kids. <laughs> yeah. And, man, and, and they, they ruin everything. Yeah, stuff like that, stuff like that <laughs> does seem to peter out. Yeah. Like, actually, my wife and I were talking this morning about how we were like, oh, whenever one of us goes away, like the other one would write letters for the other one. Like if yeah. they're away for a while, yeah. it hasn't yeah. happened since. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like now, literally, we went on the yeah, cruise. We went on a text cru- message, come back, we need a, help. Went on a cruise ship last week, yeah. opened up my iPad, and there was a poster, and they just said, I love you. And yeah, I went, yeah. That's a great <laughs> analogy for having kids. Before the honeymoon kids, is over. 30 literally. individually wrapped letters. Yeah, After right. kids, here's a post it note. It's true. Isn't I still it? occasionally think of you, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every well, so often. The new single, Wasting Time, the film clip's out. Um, yep. And there is a part in the film clip that goes through a montage of all your other film clips from, you know, Teen Sympathy, your first yeah. single uh, solo album, or, or Powderfinger Days as well. What do you reckon your best look was? It's <laughs> the hair. It's like a time lapse of a plant growing. It, and then, it like, is. You know, yes, I mean, it, kind of literally, odd, like, it actually it? is that, I suppose. Yeah. And now your hair's back at shoulder length. If you went to a boys' private school, you get a detention. It's I touching would. your collar. I'd have, to, I'd have to write out <laughs> school rule nine part three but, many but, times. But you're a rock star, so, so you don't. <laughs> is, there, is there a look you're like, yeah, I'm nailing that? Or is there a look where you're like, gee, I regret that, that one? <laughs> yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah. Funny one in that video is pick you up. The only time I ever dyed my hair in my life. 
and it was bright red. Because <laughs> yeah. I really loved this David Bowie record called Station to Station. He's got really flame red hair yeah. on the front of it. And I was like, I'm going to dye my hair like that and yeah. cut it. Yeah. And I just never cut it. <laughs> so I just, so I just look looked like, like, I looked like someone out of L7 or something. You know? Do you like, tell your bandmates, like back in Panafing, do you go, guys, I'm going to do red hair for the film clip, or is it just a surprise? I can't remember. That's just so Cause, long cause ago. Because I feel like... Yeah. They're black and white, like, those if, I was, if I was in a photo shoot... Yeah, if I was in a band, if Andy and I had or a photo shoot... Or even just the two of us, if you and I decided to have a photo shoot for Hamish and Andy for a oh, billboard yeah. or something... Hey, cause... we're doing Gap here, and I turned up with blue hair, and I'd be like, yeah, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Andrew would go, well, I'm, I'm going to write a letter. Uh, to a complaint. <laughs> You're going to get a full post-it note. <laughs> Bernie, <laughs> before we hear the song Wasting Time, um, which is a cracker, you're going to help us um, with something. Yeah, Hamish... Sure. Hmm. Is in look a, a battle with his wife. Um, oh, he is has, it okay? It's he, a marital thing. I yeah, didn't realize he, that. He, he, See this sweet electronic drum kit outside yeah, the studio. Yeah. So I bought that. Mm. Um, didn't really run it past the appropriate channels. Yeah. And they said you're not bringing it home because you won't use it. So in a moment of bravado, I said name any. This is a month ago, so I thought I had time. Yeah. So I was like name any song, and I'll drum it. I'll learn it in a month to show you that I'm dedicated to drums. And she said, "Stairway to Heaven." Which is, as you would know, as a, probably a fan of the song, mm-hmm. it's an eight and a half minute song, six minutes, no drums. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so Amy's she's been, choking right from the very then, beginning. But then, <laughs> then there's drums. Yeah, Amy's that's got, the and, and it's got the first yeah. six uh, minutes down pat. Yeah, you're totally um, um, but the rest. Just, I just do <laughs> the rest. I do, I do drum spins. Yeah. I call <laughs> some friends. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's meant to. Uh, he's meant to have this down by Friday. Yeah. To see where he's at, sure. a blind drum test. Sure. We've got a regular lay person, Jack. He's going to have a crack at the drums. Hello. Hi, Jack. We've got Hamish and we've got a professional. I actually right. got my drum teacher, You're gonna... Cam, who <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit nervous to see because he sent me a lot of homework to do last week and I haven't yeah. done it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst, isn't it? And, Trying yeah, not to make eye contact. On the other side of this song, you'll be blindfolded and you get to listen to a, a little bit from all of them sure. and you can place them in order. Okay. As ten, ten seconds. Ten, ten, yeah. <laughs> Still joined in the studio by Bernard Fanning. Thank oh, you mate. for sticking around, No problem. Buddy. I'm looking forward to this. Nerve-wracking for me. I'm actually over by, behind the buttons now on the desk. And outside, Hamish, you wait with your drum teacher, Cam. Yep. And Cackling Jack, as yep. we've just heard Wasting Time, the new single of the uh, the new album, Civil Dust by, uh, Dusk sorry, by Bernard Fanning. Bernard, you're going to help us with yes. a drum test. Hamish, this Friday mm-hmm. will be a live band venue, The Corner Hotel. Yep. To play one song only. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. I know. You think it's it's fair for him to be on that stage? I mean, no. the, ro- the, the rolling stage. earn that. I know. <laughs> He's going to be there anyway. Well, I mean, Ando, last time we were there, we were lighting our mate Aaron's chest on fire. So, <laughs> I mean, some bad acts have been on stage. <laughs> He's going to be there. Um, and, Haim, you're going to try and play Stairway to Heaven, the drums only. To the best of my knowledge. <laughs> or ability. Mm. Um, hey, well, if I don't learn the song, <laughs> then I'll be doing it to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> That's right. So to see where you're at at the moment, Haim, yep. we're doing a blind test. Bernard is going to put a blindfold on shortly. And individually, Hamish, you're going to play. Yep. Uh, Cam, the drum teacher, is going to play. And Cackling Jack, a yep. person who's not really a drummer, is also going to play. And Bernie's going to put them in order of who he thought was best. We'll see where you rank. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it obviously secretly. So he, mm. Bernie's not going to know what order we're doing this nope. in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, now we'll just play for about 10, 15 seconds each. Bernard has just put the blindfold mm. on Hamish. I'm ready. And, um, All right. Um, well, the first drummer will make his way now mm. to uh, the drums. I'm going to put the microphone down. Okay. Drummer number one is heading there. And drummer number one, your 15 seconds starts now. Mm. Deep groove. I've picked up the uh, microphone. <laughs> okay. Drummer number two may now step in. Yes. Um, was there ability there at all, Bernie? Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Drummer number two starts now. <laughs> drummer number two. God help us. Um, God help Stairway to Heaven. And 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 I, I certainly hope the, pro- the professional hasn't sat down yet. <laughs> okay. And now um, 
Now I'll hop on. Okay. I mean, drummer number three. <laughs> drummer number three. Drummer number I've three. got to put the mic down while I drum. Hang on. <laughs> if you've just tuned in, it's a blind drum test. A Bernard Fanning has blindfolded. He's listening to three separate drummers. He doesn't know which one's which. This is drummer number three. He'll then place them in order. Go, drummer number three. No, I messed it up. Can I have another go? <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. I just okay. I felt like I hit I mistimed the third beat. Okay. That was dumb of me. Okay. But not in front of my teacher okay. as well. Ham's, no, don't throw any red herrings. You can that's, remove the blindfold, Bernie, if you like. That's a total black herring. Okay. <laughs> Bernie, in order. I think who was best? Best was the the professional was third. Yes. Okay, so drummer number three. That was not Hamish. <laughs> no, just no, that was most certainly not Hamish. <laughs> Can I drop a bombshell? Even, you are and correct. also, he tried to throw a little red herring in with his fill, which is kind of crap. Yeah, yeah <laughs> yes, this is true. He tried to put us off. But you're right. Uh, Cam is did the best. Did you try and put us off? So, Cam yeah. actually tried to do a bad fill. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't even pick it. I was like, oh, man, one day if I could play like that. <laughs> Literally did I know I was okay. idolising bad drumming. Well, Ham, hey, we don't expect you to be as good as a professional. Great. No. But can are, do. are you better than just another regular person? Because you have been practicing for three weeks. Yep. Um, Bernie, no, who, who I think was Ham- better out of drummer one I or two? I think Hamish was second. Yes. And, 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 and Jack was first. Yes. And who was the worst? Oh, um, probably Hamish. <laughs> <laughs> you said it so nicely. I mean... Yeah, you got it. They both really made a great effort. Yeah, and if you look back at the footage, Hamish had a pair of scissors and was nipping at Jack's nose as he played. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to put him off. <laughs> so I'm not even better than Jack, fearing for his life. <laughs> That's all right. I got till Friday. You do he have does. till Friday, buddy. Cam, I'm going to practice so hard. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm excited, mate. I'm excited. <laughs> Thanks for coming Thanks in, buddy. For the me, new guys. single, everybody, yeah. Wasting Time. Uh, Civil Dusk is the uh, forthcoming album. Look out for it, everyone. Same as Eddie. One year, Benny. I'll be drumming with you. <laughs> Another bold, idiotic claim for drumming. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Hamish and Eddie back to drive you home. Jeez. I mean, you've just been a little drummer boy, mate. Parappa pum pum is what I look, think when I look at you because... Get out of my main shop because it's just me and Jesus. <laughs> what were you doing in there? Um, are you referring to your drum teacher as Jesus? Yeah, pretty good, ac- pretty accurate description, actually. Yeah. Yes, Ando, it dawned on me today. Mm. I have three days until my drumming challenge. Yep. I said a dumb thing, yep. and then I did a dumber thing, which was not follow through on the silly bet I made. I said to my wife, in one month, yep. I will learn the song Stairway to Heaven by popular folk band <laughs> Led Zeppelin from the 70s. Yeah. I'll learn that song, I said, in one month, and one month is up on Friday. Yeah. I haven't I hadn't done a lot to prepare no. till yesterday. Yep. But today I had a lesson and um You're yeah. brushing your teeth uh, really hardly before going to the dentist. That's what, oh, that's yeah. what's happening in Mate, this I'm brushing days. my teeth with white paint. <laughs> <laughs> hoping that something that I'll fool someone. Um, it's going to be with the band Bon Jet. I've organised a real band to play with you, yeah, Real life band. And so that's on Friday. It's going to be at a live venue. I've got a new bit of a new ingredient to add to Friday's performance. Well, which I'll explain I'm after five o'clock. Chopsticks. I'm not allowed to play with drumsticks. But Mate, it's hard enough. Came hey, straight after this when we're talking. Well, straight after this, one thing um, came and went. Fine. Oh, last week was our cruise ship adventure, and again, thanks to everyone that listened uh, throughout the week. But we, one thing just sort of passed us by without getting mentioned. Yeah. And before we get too far away from the cruise, I probably should just put a lid on it. Yeah, I think I know what we're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> Save it, Daddy. Ham, three and a half weeks ago, essentially, mm-hmm. you made a pledge to your wife. You said you would learn Stairway to Heaven on the drums, on your new electronic drum kit. If you could prove to her that you can play it and play it well, you got to keep the electronic drums at her, at your house and her yeah, house. Her house. And, um, because it's taking up a lot of clutter otherwise. It's, they're a big kit. And you have a history of buying things you don't use. I think Zoe's policy here is, look, you know, you've gone and bought something. It's not necessarily the money I'm annoyed at, although that they weren't the cheapest thing in the world. But it's the fact that if I just let this into the house, what else am I going to learn in the yeah. house? Are you going to build your own rocket ship? She's done a good job of stamping it out over the years. She's I pretty mean, good at keeping my, being My, my house off. became your props cupboard for a while. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, you want a drum kit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you the spare key coming around. Um, Here's the thing, though, Ando. 
Uh, we, if you cast your mind back, we'd all just played together at our Logie Spit Rose party, and I had learnt that in excess song. Mm. And, and you I was played it very well. Riding high off mm. that and really thought, look, radio's not going to last forever. It'd be great <laughs> to have a trade to fall back on, and I really think drums could be it. Yeah. So I thought, well, I can't be a professional drummer if I don't have my own kit. That's crazy. Yes. Better get a kit. I have bought two of them in the past. Zoe was well within her rights to say, listen, this feels impulsive, so prove to me that you've got the dedication to learn this song. I said, no worries. Three and a half weeks have passed. I have just spent a lot of time listening to the song, Hmm. um, Stairway to Heaven, in my car, but not being a drummer of the song, like not actually putting stick to skin. Cam, your drum teacher, had a listen with you two weeks ago, gave you homework, you've done none of it. Well, 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 I mean, we went off on the boat. I know. I mean, not ideal prep. But if, if I was going to the Olympics, I'm just saying that I fa- wouldn't be booking a cruise right now if I was meant to be long jumping. Sure. My whole point is the facts are you've done nothing. <laughs> sure. Facts are the same. And so then you complicated. Co- Can I ask you a question? Okay. He sends me through all these videos, mm. and he's like, you know, one and a, you know, one e and a, two e, and like doing all this counting. How Im- you you play in a band mm-hmm. with your brother, Jack? You've played music. Mm. How important is counting in the music world? Because I am not into it. <laughs> it's it is. Could I be a professional musician and shun counting? I don't think so. Because it's that's sort of where <laughs> I've landed. I'm like, look, I drum from my heart. Yeah. Get the maths out of it. <laughs> okay. Well, how did you go telling your teacher that today? This is my problem with all yeah. the videos just, yeah. and all this music. So much numbers. So much counting. Well, I, I sat down with him and tried to explain to him where my head was at mm. and what I thought we could realistically shoot for. Okay, Cam. So it's three days to a complete game day. Yep. Like, I know we had a good plan where we were like, you send videos, I learn all this counting and timing and stuff, and then I try, we try to do the song that way. But I feel like it's... You know in MasterChef sometimes they have an hour to make something and then it gets to like 56 minutes and they're like, oh, no, I've burnt the turkey. <laughs> I'm just going to have to do well-presented apple. You know, it's yep. not the turkey, it's not the full roast dinner. I was going to do, do some apple with a few, like, sliced sultanas on it and just hope it impresses the judges. Mm-hmm. I yep. feel like we got five minutes to go. I'm struggling with the timing. I'm struggling with counting stuff out, but I have an incredible feel for drumming, which I think you yourself commented on once. Definitely, mate. It's it's second to none. It's really quite impressive. So here's the thing. <laughs> I tried to do the timing of that, that dotted eighth bit. Yep. Couldn't get the timing. Then I just said to myself, hey, vibe it out. And I give you... It, it, it's close. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. That's like, it. That's it. That's just vibing it out. Yeah. But if I have to count it, uh, I'm just not into the numbers. So do you want me to just kind of sit here and watch you vibe it then? We won't, we won't even... <laughs> I'll just, Good you know, idea. Why don't we just Yoda and Luke Skywalker? <laughs> So in a way, like you've got a student that has incredible talents, but he still needs Yoda. I reckon there are sort of four key parts we've got to get. Yeah, great. If and we can get those four key parts. And the one big one that we haven't even started on is that fill, that main that bit. That fill. That's the crown of the song. Yeah, so that bit we're going to have to get as close have as we can. Have to get close to Sandy. It's like, we don't want a crown made out of coal. No, no. It's... Have you seen Eddie the Eagle? No. Me neither, but it feels like <laughs> this is the moment, doesn't it? Where it's like, let's get him off that jump. Let's do it. He's not going to win, <laughs> but isn't it funny that he's at the Olympics? <laughs> that's us. <laughs> I think that's the point of that film. <laughs> isn't, it, <laughs> isn't it funny that he's at the Olympics? <laughs> I don't think they thought he was going to win, did they? No, did but... Jack Hugh Jack I don't really think, think he was going to win I the don't Olympics. I think that they thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were extremely proud that he got up there and did it. Like, I don't know. Watch the, the trailer joke. again. Or the film. <laughs> you know, if we really want to settle it. <laughs> I've got a way... I've got a new ingredient, Ham, for Friday. It's to be the last ingredient. A way of people to be able to get involved um, with the performance aspect. Here's where I'm at, I'm honestly. pretty excited about so it. So, people that do are following this and are going to listen on Friday... If I pull out all the stops, like I'm cancelling date night tomorrow night with my wife, I've got to stay in here and practice because obviously the drums live here at the radio yeah. station. If I pull out all the stops, mm. I think I'm a shot to get something that kind of loosely resembles, if you squint from a distance and you have a very bad ear for music, mm. that loosely resembles that song. He's playing Doggo Jack, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon. Just kidding, I'm the best drum in the world. <laughs> Same as Shenandy. Hey, there's a little bit of a backstory, so we'll try and whip through it. 
You bought your third electronic drum kit si. after agreeing that the first two mm-hmm. were a waste of money and time. They weren't very good. They so were toys. Bought, so you bought a more expensive one, yep. feeling you're going to get back into drumming. Yep. When your wife heard about this, so it'd be good to she have said, a career. you cannot have this drum kit at home. Yep. And you left it at work, and worker said, you cannot have it here. Mm-hmm. So to prove to your wife that you definitely deserve this drum, drum kit, that you're going to get use out of it, that a drum kit's not just for Christmas. Yes, You've got to care passion. for it from, from now on. It's a real passion I have. You said to her, I will learn Stairway to Heaven, the yep. drum part from that, in one month, and then prove to you. So hence, we've organized, uh, look, a gig for you now. One month is up on Friday. Mm. Jeez, it's really flown, hasn't it? Really, it's been it's been a great chance for us all to go cherish your moments, guys. Yeah. You know, with your kids and with if you're on a cruise ship, yeah. just cherish those moments because the the year really flies too fast. Mm. I had to actually go back and recount the weeks. It was correct. Yeah. You had you'd counted it right. <laughs> hey, my, I told you yesterday on the show that um, you know you just thought you're going to be in here drumming along to the a, a backing track. Yeah, or something. I thought it might take me a few minutes, and I was looking forward to that because. The backing track has the drums in it. Yep. So if I played the backing track loud enough, there's a chance I could fluff quite a lot of it <laughs> yeah. and no one would really know. But I uh, got in touch with a man, mate of mine. Is it a band yeah. called Bonja? Yep. A bit of a Triple J favourite. And they've got an important gig coming up on Friday. Regan's his name. I asked him whether, as a band, would they be able to learn it? He said yes at, at the very famous venue, the Corner Hotel in Melbourne. The Rolling Stones have played there. Yeah. That's where they're going to be playing. Yeah, look, as Musos, and- we all love it, but... <laughs> And then just, you know. during the day earlier in soundcheck, you would go and, and you'd try and perform this song with them. Here is the new news. Look what you can, look, Have a look at this. Up on the corner website. Oh, geez. What have you done? It's ticketed. Hamish Blake for one song only. <laughs> Bonja. Five dollars. Five dollars yeah. per song is pretty expensive, it isn't is. it? For a gig. So Hamish Blake for one song only with Bonja. The corner have agreed... To put on another show in, in, the, in the early afternoon, <laughs> what? which just features you and Bonda, of course. What time do doors open? Doors open at 11. The That's gig, pretty early, isn't it, for the, a gig? The gig runs from 12.30 till 12.38. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's probably about... There will be no encores. <laughs> I'd be very surprised. If there is, though, there's only two, two other songs that I could confidently have a go at. Riggs joined How us. many people? Um, well, I think the capacity, I mean, Regan would know, Riggs from Bonja. Mate, thank you again for joining us. Hey, Riggs. Thanks, mate. How are you going? <laughs> yeah, good. Really how good. many, how many, what's the capacity of the corner hotel? Uh, you can get about 800 in there and it's pretty comfortable. Okay, can we, so, can we? So, we got, so at $5 a pop, zero booking fee. That's good. <laughs> good on your corner. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, they, doors open at 11. There's no support act at this point, Riggs, and the gig is going to go from 12.30 till 12.38. Is that? I suppose that's unusual. You'd say it's pretty unusual. It's um, it's going to be in and out, but I'm pretty confident we'll smash it, Hamish. Don't don't stress. We'll run a, run the song a few times, and it's yeah. going to be good fun. Let's let's try and do that. Um, regularly. how's the how's the guys in the band coping with learning all the mu- all the song? Um, <laughs> they're going all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm more worried about you to be honest. <laughs> all right. Well, because I've changed my tack. I know it's a panic, but I changed my tack today, and I've I'm giving up all the counting stuff, and I'm just vibing it off the. Us- I, hope, I hope you guys are going Us- off the track <laughs> that's on the album. Are you playing that? Yeah, yeah, great. But, but apparently it speeds up, so we've got to be mindful of that. So don't. Just, you know, if you feel like speeding up, we're just going to follow your lead. Just mate. follow me, man. Hey, uh, ask Regs what you asked me earlier on about counting. As in, in a band. Oh, I just asked him if it's a hundred percent important. Like, Regan, if you needed a new drummer, and I came to you guys and I said, "Listen, I'll drum, but I'm not ever counting anything." Like, is that a deal breaker <laughs> as a drummer? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll we'll make it work. Whatever. Because <laughs> you know, I play, play with my heart. I play with my heart. I might also have to play with a cricket glove with all the fingers cut off except the thumb because I just keep whacking my thumbs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, does your drummer ever play with thumb guards? <laughs> um, it's been done before. <laughs> That's well, not well, true. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being no. really kind, Rex? Yeah, I am. I am. No, it's never been done before. <laughs> um, well, Hamish Blake, for one song only, with Bonja, Jeez. of course. Um, you got to go. I mean, at our website, I think we're going to be able to put it up. Tickets will sell fast, of course, but you need to be available from 12.30 to 12.38 on Friday at $5 a pop. Um, all the uh, the money Ham raised will go to your charity, The Soldier On, that you do a lot oh, of work great. with. Um, well, that's good. Well, now so, I'm inspired. <laughs> so no, I'm I've inspired. got to be inspired just because I love music. Thanks so much to Regan for joining us. 13.10.60, though, now. Have you bought a ticket? Jeez, <laughs> oh, that's quick. No one would have bought a ticket yet. You, you've got a song to think about it. 
Are you going to buy a ticket? I suppose if you're in Melbourne, would you go to watch one song for five bucks? <laughs> Hame, we've, I've just showed you what I've done. <sighs> On Friday, you have now got an official gig. <laughs> Hamish Blake, for one song only, with legendary band Bonja. Um, you're going to be playing. This is doors so- open. I love it how doors open at 11. The gig goes from 12.30 to 12.38. It's an eight-minute gig. <laughs> today. I mean, if you're people, late... People, if you, if people you're getting late- there at 11. Yeah, they'll get a good spot. <laughs> uh, if you're late to the gig, I mean, you'll be able to knock the gig off in your lunchtime. Not a lot of gigs you can go to at lunch. Exactly. Like, if you work- if <laughs> your lunch break, go into a gig. <laughs> if you work in the area... <laughs> oh, geez, well done. <laughs> um, it's officially ticketed. No booking fee. $5. You can go there to the, the corner website now and purchase them. It's in Melbourne. Yep. That's where Bondra are playing, and that's where we've got to get ourselves to. Matt joins us on 131060. Matty, you got tickets? Uh, ahoy, boys. Ahoy to you. I, ahoy, uh, I do not have tickets. I'm calling you boys instead, so I'm hoping there's some... Uh, there's at least one left over by the time I hang up on the phone. Oh, right. I thought you were after a comp. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we are a radio station. Uh, but yeah, we don't have any to give away because Ando very kindly has mm. organised all the proceeds going to Soldier On, which yes. is great. So they'll, it'll all go to charity. Therefore, no free ticks. Matt, get there, mate. It's going to be a hell of a gig. Matty, what are you doing on Friday? Uh, yeah, so I'm meant to be working from uh, from 10 till 7. Yep. And I'm, uh, I'm going to have a word to the boss. Well, I've, I've already spoken to the boss and I said... Doesn't matter what you say, mate. I'm changing my work hours and I'm getting down to this in my lunch break. Yeah, mate, bring everyone from work. <laughs> yeah, cool. We'll, have to have yeah, a we'll, we'll close down the store for an hour and we'll come down. We'll. Uh... What store are we talking? Uh, so, uh, well, yeah, Andy will know it well. It's a school uniform shop in Q. <laughs> Why will I know it well? Because you're always trying to buy school uniforms, buy them out, and I then sell I... them at a higher price for the year 12. <laughs> you mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> it has been my black market business for a while. Uh, Maddie, I do know it though. <laughs> um, I did grow up in that area. Renee, you're going to go to yes. the gig? Yes, I'm prepared. I've waited my life for this. Hey, Renee, you, <laughs> know, it's, you know it's eight minutes. Yeah, it's going to be the best eight minutes of my whole life. Renee, are you the kind of person that normally goes to gigs and feel like they, they go on a bit, you know, like you don't... Yeah. I, I do get that and feeling. And you get sore legs if you stand up the yeah, whole time. Yeah, you do, and they're like, oh, I guess to the charade for the encore. With our gig, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get one eight-minute song, six of which I don't do anything for, six minutes I'm resting, and I play them a bit. We all have a, all have a high five and go, you miss one note in there, hey, and bad yeah. luck, but the rest was perfect, and we get off. Maz. Yes. Yeah. Maz, you, 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 you want to come to the gig? Uh, boys, I'm going to fly down from Brisbane for the day. I have the day off and no kids. I'm coming down there. Maz, <laughs> Maz, what a great idea. Maz, secure the ticket first. I must stress. Get, Maz, get oh, the, I'm going to get 10 and I'm going to see how many of my friends from Melbourne I can meet up with there and meet them. This is great, bringing people together. Maz, do you know what, in all seriousness, now you've inspired me to really practice hard. Yeah. Oh, because now that people love are, it. Now that people are you know, flying mm. the length of the country. Doors open at 11. You're going to have a 90-minute run-up at drinks before Hamish gets When will I be running? You'll have to rehearse before all this. Boo. <laughs> okay, because I wanted to do like five rehearsals and just get straight on stage. No, no, no. Isn't that how it works? <laughs> no, no. You <laughs> <laughs> like what? That's what. Don't you see in like in band documentaries and stuff? They're like rapidly like you know. Do we hundred percent have the song? Do we know it? No, no. They tend to know it by what game day. What a weird day. feeling. I just have no concept of what that would feel like. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Hamish Daddy the Drive, you're home, and boy, do we have a show and a half for you today. But don't worry, we're not going to go extra long. We're going cr- to we're going to crunch this show and a half into a regular show's amount of time. Think of it as concentrate, a juice concentrate, and we're just adding a little less water. Yeah, but the water is ads. <laughs> 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 Gotta be honest. Yeah, the water's ads. Yeah. Water's ads and a little bit delicious of ads. <laughs> delicious, you need it to nutritious live. Yes. ads. <laughs> uh, um, plenty it, of refreshing it, ads <laughs> <laughs> coming up. <laughs> We're going to uh, call Billy Crystal, which I always sounds weird, but yes. yes. He, he's given us his home number, which we've just been calling randomly. Yeah, the nine-time Academy Award host, Billy Crystal. Well, we keep saying to him, um, you know, oh, that was really fun, Billy. And he's like, hey, guys, anytime. Yeah, just and he's, coming, he's coming out on tour. He's like, I'll, I'll keep chatting to you guys. So we're testing his patience yes, and his we're, generosity. We're going to call Billy Crystal in around about half an hour's time. But, hey, after this... You got two more days to prepare. You spent a lot of time on the pig skins today. I'm putting in. I'm, I'm grabbing sort of six, seven minutes where I can uh, <laughs> to have a run through, and then I'm at that stage now because yeah. I have to perform this big drum concert on Friday where 
I just feel like the more I do it, the more I'm aware how unprepared I am. So I only like doing it in little chunks. <laughs> I only do the one bit I know. Let's cover it off after this. Same mission, Andy. Haim, <laughs> your drum challenge is Friday. Hmm. You didn't know, but there's a live music venue booked. You're going to be performing with a well-renowned band. The band's called Bonja. Yeah. Um, and there's tickets that have gone on sale all in the matter of days. If people want to go, the gig is between 12.30 and 12.38. Hamish Blake for one song only. But why are you playing one song? Because I bought an electronic drum kit on eBay in a moment of heady excitement mm. when I was seriously considering drums as my fallback trade. Yep. Because, as I said yesterday, ready, this dream won't last forever, guys. Right. You've got to have a skill. Exactly. And I we're forgot like, to get like, one we're at like, uni. We're like footy players at the moment. Like, you know, at any point... Maybe I could we, be an architect. We could bio out, but we should be thinking about what I'm we're going to I'm trying to think of my future career, and I think yeah. a, a drum, freelance drummer is a good skill to have. Mm. Door-to-door drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Need any drumming done, sir? I do. Oh, I wouldn't mind a 6-8 beat while I do the dishes. <laughs> oh, I can do that. <laughs> so I was thinking of becoming a door-to-door drumsman. Mm. But to do that, you need a kit. And so I bought it, an electronic drum kit on eBay. Mm-hmm. My wife said, really wish you hadn't done that. Where are we going to put it in the house? It's massive. It's going to take up half a room. And I said, look, you don't understand, honey. You, I, I feel drums in my blood. I'm a very good natural percussionist. She said, you know what? You just bought this on a whim because mm. you got so excited that you, Andy, and Jack played one song at the Loki <laughs> Spit Rose Party. And then so I said over dinner, you name any song. Mm. and I will learn it in a month and show you that I'm a real drummer with real skills. She said Stairway to Heaven by the band Led Zeppelin, which is an eight-minute, 19-second-long song. Six minutes without drums, but then when the drums come in, they can come in with a flurry, and it can be very difficult. Have a listen. They kick the door down. How's that bit going, bud? That's tough. Yeah, I know that bit. Yeah. That particular bit is a pretty tough nut to crack. <laughs> bit of a Brazil nut. Yes. Well, Bonja, the band that we're playing, uh, you're playing with. Yep. They've been rehearsing. I hope so because I mean they need to sound 130 percent on the day. <laughs> yeah. They need to be so, so they're good. Not, they're not covering that. If you, I mate. lose my spot, no. then I use them to get back on track, and I offer the same service to them. <laughs> if they get confused and lose their way out there. Fall back, listen to the drum beat, and yep. hopefully as a team, we've all got each other's backs on stage. Um, a day after we put up the ticket sales, Ham, over 200 tickets have already been sold. People willing to spend $5 <laughs> no, booking to come, no booking free fee to come down to see one song only. Eight minutes of heaven, some people are calling it online. Do- doors are opening at 11, so there's a chance. There's a 90-minute lead up to one song. Of all. Yeah, there'd so, be a lot of mingling. There's a lot of mingling. Um, um, and but, then there'd be a bit of you, you'll you get a few shots of me poking my uh, poking my head out to check how it's going out of the curtain. <laughs> Don't be unprofessional, mate. Just stay in the back and come. Are you not walk- meant to do that? No, Frank Stallone did when we <laughs> brought him out. <laughs> I know. Never seen a man more Cole nervous Blake. in my life. <laughs> Cole, Chris Martin does a poke. I go, oh gosh, they're all there. <laughs> oh god, mum and dad are here. <laughs> I've got to bring it. Here's so, the thing, Andy. So we should real. point out. Go to go to um, our website if you want to go. If, if it's in Melbourne, everybody, that's where the corner is. This is this famous venue we're playing in, and that's where yep. Bon are, the band that we're uh, that we're playing. Yeah, Hamie playing alongside. I'll put it. Go, I'm going to put a good show on. Go right, to hamishnee.com if you want to have a ticket. The ticket sales are going to soldier on yep. your chair. Hand that that's, you work with, that's, that does inspire me more. Um, Can I just tell you, Ando? He, do you want to, only eighty, only eight hundred available. Okay, which here's where my <laughs> oh, six hundred left, guys. Go on, quick, 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 quick sticks. Go to hamishjourney.com. Yeah. Do you have a spare eight minutes? Um, here's where my head's at. It, it's a real battle for me at the moment because it's half of my mental power is going. You know, focus. Try and think about this song. Mm. Um, I'm listening to the song a lot. That's a bit of a fake sense of security because the, every time you play the track, Led Zeppelin are very good at the song. Yes. I probably should stop listening to them playing it because I'm not going to quite sound like that. i gotta, I got to learn that it's just me on the kit. But then half, most of the time, every time I'm at the kit and I begin to realise the bigness of this thing, mm. I just keep thinking of ways to get out of it. <laughs> like my brain is tuned as, for, for a wriggle out. Mate. I just don't. I don't know why, but I keep going. My knee does hurt. I got. No, I do. I mean, no, I, I know. Hey, I'm, I'm just saying. It's my old paper round you're injury. You're in the big leads now. You're in a, a venue I with have a, a paper round injury. <laughs> you, you, Jack, you know big, what it's like to have a paper round injury. You're in the big leagues now, mate. You were playing at a at a venue that the Rolling Stones have play, played at. 
I'm just saying, it might be the angle of the stool. Yeah. The hi hat's quite low, a bit too low for a man of my size. We'll put it up. It won't go up any higher. <laughs> 13, 1060. I'm just saying. How about this? 13, 1060. <laughs> When did you find yourself suddenly in the big leagues, like Hamish does? Have you been? Have you suddenly got a call up and you're well out of your depth? Try and counsel him through it. Even if you were nursing an old paper round injury, because <laughs> you know my patella on my right side, my kneecaps a bit. You know, you've got a lot of cartilage left, and that's the thing that plays the bass drum. Thirteen ten six is the number. Ahoy, Dennis! You've found yourself in the big leagues all of a sudden. Yeah, hoi hoi, boys. Oh, hoi, <laughs> um, a couple of years ago, I broke up with my missus and bought a dirt bike, and I thought I was getting pretty good at it. And yep. I let my brother talk me into going into the Turkey Beach Express. Jeez, what's that's that? Like, that's like a 30-kilometre um, ride through the bush. You've got to do as like, many laps as you can in a certain amount of time, I think it is. Yep. And um, I was lucky to do two laps. I was destroyed. Oh, was so how, <laughs> how, how long does the race go for, Dennis? Um, I think it, it goes for the whole day. Yeah, and, um, what, 24 hours? Uh, no, I think it only goes for about like the daytime. So not gonna, okay, so eight like, hours or so. Hours, yeah. And, and you meant to go for as long as you can. <laughs> how, yeah. how, how long do you reckon you lasted, Dennis? Uh, it took me like three hours to do two laps of it. <laughs> and, um, on, the, on the first lap, it was only the practice lap, and they sent out people looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, Dennis, I know exactly how you feel. Yeah. I mean, I'm only playing drums and I feel like they're going to send someone out looking for me on Friday. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Alex, you found yourself well out of your depth. Uh, yeah, I was um, asked to take a life drawing class, which I'd never done before. So I was only a young, poor art student. Um, and I went out there in my Austin 1800 out in the middle of nowhere uh, to teach a class of... Uh, of teachers who were wanting to do this thing for their staff room, uh, just as a PD experience. So I went out there, uh, organised a model. The model didn't turn up and uh, all these people are waiting for the class to start. Oh, so no. I thought I had two um, checks in my hand and I thought, well, I'll just model as well. <laughs> and uh, so, hang on, hang on. You were modelling and then saying to the class, you know, make sure yeah. you get her hips. So like, I had to make a few phone calls. Uh, just to make sure that the model wasn't turning up. So yeah. just to clarify that, I went outside, came back in, said, okay, there's been a bit of a change and um, I'll be modelling for you tonight, but don't worry, it'll all be fine. So you've <laughs> never done a life, like been the model of life modelling? I modeling hadn't and- modelled and I hadn't taught, but I'd done lots of life drawing classes, so I kind of knew what I so needed to do. So how did you do. feel just taking off all your clothes all of a sudden instead of strangers? I was fine. My parents were exhibitionists, so yep. it was not a problem. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's going to be tough trying to teach and model at the same time. Yeah, I mean, do you walk like, around? Make sure, and- guys, really make sure you capture her facial beauty. I think she's a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alex, when you're going around to give people notes... Do you, you walk around nude? Yeah. Are you, uh, uh, and- yeah, I sort of... I had a little wrap, so I put the wrap around me. Um, but I'm not small either, so I... It wasn't pretty, no. No, but, but, but Alex... <laughs> it's more just the multitasking that's impressive. <laughs> I'm so, I mean, also, as, as, was, if you started drawing as well, there's no need yeah. for anyone else. <laughs> no, look, I was impressed with my efforts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Well done. <laughs> so Thank you, Andy. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, we should the drive you home. Exciting show. Because not only... Uh, is your wife coming in? And I always enjoy ha- having your wife on the show to talk about you, essentially. Coming in on air. Sometimes she's around off air. Yes, yes. Coming in an on air capacity. On air capacity. Uh, obviously, uh, her new book is yeah. out, which we're excited about. But also, we need to get the lowdown, the exact rules. Yeah. Essentially, this whole drum challenge that you're up against, the fact that you have to perform Stairway to Heaven, the drums from that. To a, to a standard tomorrow yep. and is with because a full crowd. you want to take this electronic drum kit home to your house yep. and your wife rightfully yeah. thinks it's a waste of space because generally things you buy turn into junk, you never use them. She questions my dedication, Ando. She invented Stairway to Heaven as the test. Mm. Did you write a song? If, <laughs> uh, yeah. She travelled back in time, gave it to a young band called Led Zeppelin, said, here you are, boys. I think you'll have fun with it. Smacked him on the bum and said, I'm out of here. Yeah. Gotta go back to the future. I thought the smack on the bum was a bit flirty. I but, thought uh, it was, that was the 70s, and we were all smacking bums <laughs> back then. <laughs> so now, though, tomorrow I've got to do this gig yep. if I have any chance to take home my beloved electronic drum kit. You can still buy tickets to the gig, a gig that goes for only eight minutes. It's between 12.30 and 12.38. If you're in Melbourne, that's where we're going to get ourselves to, Ham, because it's at the Corner Hotel, this gig. $5. It is no booking fee. 
Buy yep. online. There's still tickets available to come and see an eight-minute show starring Hamish Blake. I understand it's not a great offering, but the money does oh, go well, to well. charity. It's a bloody good offering <laughs> if you're in the area and you love a lunchtime gig. It's a wonderful, wonderful gig. After this, I want to kick off the show. I, You know I love my sport. Yep. And I love when weird things happen in sport. Sure. So for people who don't like sport, I still think you'll love this weird thing. It's after this, <laughs> Amish Daddy. Still joined in the studio by Hames' wife, Zoe Foster Blake. The new book, Amazing Your Face, is out. All good bookstores. Updated and Beauty Bible. It is an updated Beauty Bible. And look, we've, we've talked about that, and we really appreciate you sticking around to talk about something that is very important to this man and, and myself, because tomorrow's a big day, Zoe. Well, it's big for you too, honey, because this started from a bet that we had. Um, I think it's, let's cast everyone's minds back about a month ago. I bought the, my third exactly electronic, a month ago. <laughs> yeah. third electronic yeah. drum kit. Um, yep. I told you. Where are the other two? I quickly sold them mm. because they were junk. They were I like think, toys. I you quickly like you're sold the them. best drummer, you need the best gear. That's, that's right. It. That's it. Well, yep. how can you be the best without the best? <laughs> well, well, at the time, it just wasn't. Well, I wasn't Bradman. Vibing with, I wasn't vibing Don Bradman things. used a, an old stump yeah. and, a, and a golf ball. And, and where ima- did that get and him? Imagine how huh? good he could have been if he had good gear. Could have been one of the best. <laughs> but here's the thing, honey. I said I've bought an electronic drum kit. You said that you can't drum. Fair point. Yep. And I said. To try and prove, I think, to you that I, I cared about drumming and it's in my blood and I was passionate, I said, tell me any song and I'll learn it in a month. Annoyingly, you picked Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Which you thought was a great choice to begin with because there's six minutes of an eight-minute song where there's no drums at all. <laughs> but then, a lot of rest. <laughs> drumming like this comes in. <laughs> Zoe is laughing. <laughs> so, okay, first question from my, my, my back. You've seen the kit for the very first time. It's, it's over there. It's, it's nice. It's I guess. large, though, isn't it? It's big. So keep that in mind because you're deciding whether you're going to have this in your house. If he can obviously uh, meet the challenge as we lay It'd it be down. a lovely heirloom to have one day to pass down Yeah, to but Sunny. I don't want... So- this is the main thing. I don't want Sonny to see you doing it and want to do it, and then he'll be one of those kids that wants to play the drums. Good now. luck, honey, because <laughs> drums are in my genes, so they're in him. They're he'll find out about they're drums. They're in my genes from yeah. my dad. And my I'm, dad was an actual drummer. And maybe it leapt across somehow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I guess the question is, Hamish has to learn that song. How well do I have to play it? You have to play it. You have to play it like so. I can't even tell that it's you. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> All right. Well, you know, that's what? a very interesting thing to well, say I'd, because I'd like to not imp- telling it's Amy. Like your drum syncing, like lip syncing. Okay. okay. Well, on Guitar Hero, for people that have played that on PlayStation or mm-hmm, Xbox, mm-hmm. essentially what happens is you've got those buttons on the guitar, and you have to play the right button at the right time. Yep. At the end of the song, it gives you a score, but you can still progress to the next song. I think you only have to get 51% mm-hmm. All right. on on Guitar Hero. Now, I'm not saying a 50... I can't. I don't think I should be able to mess up half the song. No, you can it, still pass with a credit. Even, okay. yeah, even Guitar Hero He's acknowledges... looking for a distinction. You're even not even Guitar Hero acknowledges sometimes people make mistakes, even the okay. best of us. Well, this is good. So, so, Zoe, you now know this, and we appreciate, again, <laughs> taking time out from your press tomorrow to come to the Corner Hotel. We have an actual band, Bonja. Hamish going to play with a real band. Tickets still on sale. I don't think we're fully sold out yet. <laughs> um, five dollars. It all does actually go to Soldier on great charity. Okay, that's okay. It's, Get down it, there for charity. It's an eight. It's an eight-minute gig in the middle of the day. <laughs> the gig it's starts a lunchtime. from twelve thirty till twelve thirty-eight. <laughs> it's a lunchtime gig. Not a lot of people do lunchtime gigs. <laughs> Certainly, do- Led doors, I don't think doors are now being pushed back to opening at eleven thirty because Hame wants time to practice. <laughs> I've squeezed in half an hour more practice. Doors so, open at eleven. So you're going to come down to that. Can yes. we, let's just talk about the judging. Yep. Hamish would like an opportunity after it. We don't judge it on the spot to hear what the people thought and have, like, the whole of Australia be somewhat of a jury that they can come forth and pledge his case or go against him and you listen to all their information and then you can decide after Here's my problem. They like him and that's not their house that the drums are going to <laughs> Yeah. I know, but you're the judge. I mean, even if the jury come back oh, okay, with a sway, yeah, you can oh, yeah, go against them. This is, this is more of like a judge in North Korea. So even if the jury come back and unanimously say, let him keep them, you still can vote. You're basically Kim Jong-un okay, tomorrow. Okay, okay, good. Good, good. If you're, like it. If you, you're, you're a drum dictator. So the people will speak, but you're under no legal obligation to listen to the people. Very good. Okay, great. That, we're in agreement there. So we'll come back to the studio after you play at 12.30 to 12.38 tomorrow. Haim, you can plead your case. I'll definitely put a, for, a case forward to Zoe, probably for the opposite. Yep, yep, <laughs> then yep. we'll hear from the people. And we'll hear the final deliberation. Honey, but what, what would be a pass and what's a fail, it's, I suppose it's up to you to go, you know what, in your heart, if you think I've played that song good well enough, enough, I suppose a good test is to go, if you turned up to a gig and you went, 
All right, they were all kind of. I know what music. I know what song that was, and no <laughs> one was visibly terrible. Oh, I'm a tough judge. We'll see. <laughs> Let, what about what if this happens? What if I'm so good I blow you away and you demand I keep them and quit radio and start drumming? That's an option. Yeah, that's an option, I guess. <laughs> what if? What if, babe? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Zoe. The book My is pleasure. amazing. Amazing a face, everybody. It's in bookstores now. It's Amish Nanny. We're driving you home. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Ham. Okay. Here is the situation as, as it stands. Apologies mm. if people have listened to every minute of the show for the last couple of days. You've heard this set up before, but... Well, exactly one month ago, I bought an electronic drum kit on eBay. It was my third ever. Third ever electronic drum kit purchase. Yep. Not just third ever purchase on eBay. Third nope. time you've bought, I bought an electronic two. drum kit. Bought two, never used them. Bought one, didn't use it, sold it. Regretted it, bought another one, didn't use it, sold, sold it. Sold it. Gave myself a few years off. Yeah. Then on a dizzying high after we had our gig at the Logie Spit Roast Party, got back into drumming. Yeah. Um, bought another one. Should point out, I've never had lessons mm. just like the of all the instruments. I feel like I resonate with drumming. I yeah. have been told I have great natural percussion. I know skills. you haven't. You've I have it's by yourself it's, in a mirror. It's, it's been said. No, it has, well, it, it has it, been. It, it, it gets around. It has been said by you. My wife said, "Why did you buy another electronic drum kit? Come on, you're not bringing it home. It's yeah. going to take up a whole room." And we just had her on around about half an hour ago yeah. in the studio with us, and she said she doesn't want Sonny, your son, to see you doing this because she doesn't want Sonny to play the drums. She's thinking about when he's, you know, thirteen, yeah. and she doesn't want him to be annoying us yeah. a lot with his drumming. I've been told in no uncertain terms I can't keep it here at the radio station, but between rock and roll and a hard place, yeah. the name of my book or the film about this whole saga. Yeah. So I said to my wife, "Look." <laughs> Who, who Give, plays you? Yeah. Keanu Reeves <laughs> with <a> heavy makeup. <laughs> Wouldn't have been my first choice. Probably Topher but... Grace. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Realistically. Yeah, Topher or Grace. Toby Maguire. Yeah. Um, Good, better choice. Or Chris, maybe Chris Pine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did say we'd do this quickly. <laughs> We've now diverged into casting. Yeah. <laughs> who plays opposite you, which would be Jason Biggs, uh, in the in James the, Franco, yeah, uh, J Biggs in the uh, between rock and roll and a hard place story. So tomorrow I have to play Stairway to Heaven. I said to my wife, "Give me a song, and I will learn any song in one month." As a non-drummer, I will show you how passionate I am. Mm. She said, "Stairway to Heaven" by Led Zeppelin. It's a classic song. Um, half the song has no drums, which is a wonderful chance for the drummer to rest. Unfortunately, the second half has a lot of complicated <laughs> drums in it. Incredible band, Bonja, uh, are going to help me out tomorrow. Tickets are still available, homeshandy.com. If you want to come down for five bucks, it's going to be in Melbourne. Well, at we the do corner, tickets at the door. Corner Hotel. I, I got, we're not doing tickets I'm getting a shake of the head. Nah. But, uh, well, the reason is because people have been tweeting us or hitting us on Facebook, are there tickets at the door? And we'll say no. It's only pre-selling. That we're okay. Saying. okay, only pre-sales. Yeah. They have a gig tomorrow night, Bonja, the band, mm. and they've said, listen, if you want to come to Soundcheck, like we kind of put a mini gig on during the day. Yeah. So this is where I'm at now. I've got less, obviously, I've got about 14 hours till go time. It's such a difficult song, Ando. Mm. It's full of so many bits and pieces. Mm. Um, I honestly don't know how the band did it. <laughs> I'm okay. just so impressed. Yeah. Um, it's like when you see... I suppose any any skilled person, yeah. a surgeon, a pilot, yep. um, a builder, yeah. an electrician, just someone who knows what they're doing, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. It's an alien concept to me because you and I managed to get a career mm. where you don't have to know what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, in fact, the less we know what we're doing, sometimes <laughs> the better. So I sit there in this world of going, God, the only way through this is to know what I'm doing. Yep. And I don't know what I'm doing. How are you feeling about tomorrow? Daunted. Daunted. I just, I, the thing about this is it's just like, it's so complicated playing this thing. Mm. And you, you, sit, you sit at the drums, you know, you, sometimes I'm great in rehearsal. And mm. then the unfair thing about music, man, is I might not be good at the gig. No one will ever get, that's probably why they make music documentaries. So at least you go, well, I was good sometimes. <laughs> no, that's not why. It's the I think old... that'd be part of it. <laughs> okay. Because what, what really scares me is I've done every part of the song right. Yeah. I haven't yep. done it all back to back. And you haven't stitched it together. I haven't stitched it together yeah. ever in a full go. And it might not happen tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a lot about how well do I recover from the almost de- certain stumbles that I will have. 131060. What are you nervous about tomorrow? 
Yeah, that's good. I just, I'd just i like people out there... That's very uh, good. ...you to band together with other people. Yeah, are you like me? Are you nervous <laughs> about something tomorrow? 13, what's your What's your big thing on Friday? Because you know what mine is. Playing one of the hardest rock and roll songs of all time with zero experience. 13, 10, 60. What, are, little, you, yeah, what little, are you nervous about tomorrow? What's your Friday like? <laughs> Are you nervous about something happening tomorrow? Is yep. what we're asking. Haim, you are nervous. I got to play Stairway to Heaven on drums. Mm. Um, it's a, obviously a famous song. Got to play it in front of a live crowd. I don't know how many tickets have been sold tonight. I'll reveal later on in the show. All right. Well, uh, we haven't sold out, though, have we? No. I mean, of course not. <laughs> it's well, coming it's to eight. see you for one song. <laughs> it's only five bucks. <laughs> and I might be great. I know, but I mean, can no, you just understand? Just less laughter. Just less laughter <laughs> the, from uh, the logistics like of getting down there just for eight minutes. Lunchtime gig. <laughs> anyway. If you're in Melbourne, near the Corner Hotel, um, 12.30, yeah. obviously, uh, is when doors open. Oh, no, 12.30 is when the gig's on. Yes. 11.30, doors open yep. if you want to get a good spot. <laughs> um, but here's the thing, Ando. You can go, you can, you can go to our website, uh, but w- there's no walk-up sales. No, there's not. It. It's a very difficult song. And, in fact, it's so difficult, I give myself a 5% chance of mm. putting it... Uh, I'll give myself a 5% chance of getting a PB tomorrow. <laughs> because some bits will be good, yep. some bits I'm going to fluff. Because it happens so fast, you don't really know what's going on in there. My worry... I think it's in you. My worry is for you stitching it together. I've, you've the pieces impro- are you've, there. You've improved dramatically, but I just think on game day, the times where you get worried or having to think about it, I reckon you'll be off. That's, that's, if you can sure. stay within yourself... Drum your way. That's what I've had to do this whole process. <laughs> Just get rid of the music, get rid of the counting, and drum from the heart. And that's what you're going to see tomorrow if you come down. But John, John on thirteen ten sixty. What are you scared about for tomorrow, mate? Have you got a big day tomorrow? I have. Yeah, I've got an interview for a new job tomorrow. Oh, jeez, right. man, that's no. What good. kind of job are you going for, bud? Uh, business development manager. Yeah, yeah. BDM. You sound and, like um, you'd be able to do that, though. You got the qualifications? Uh, th- well, it says on my resume I have. That's a start. <laughs> <laughs> like so, you've just woken so, up with amnesia, have you, John, hey, trying to piece your life together by reading your resume? <laughs> hey, uh, John, um, are there parts of your resume that may be a little exaggerated? Um, I think everything is apart from my name, my email address and my phone number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to exaggerate your phone number because yeah, then it becomes no, a different number. Your phone number's 25 digits. I might have exaggerated that a bit just to impress you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. You're in the same boat as Hamish, well yeah. out of your depth, but you may be able to pull it off. Malia, are you got a uh, ahoy, Malia. What you, are you nervous hello. about? Something happening tomorrow? <laughs> Um, well, tomorrow I am performing in front of my entire school. Me too. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> um, what are you performing, Malia? Um, I have to perform a piece of my HSC. Yep. Um, and it's my drama piece, and we haven't finished it. Oh, my God. Right. We're bloody sisters here. Yeah. Um, what What's the drama piece about? Is it play, mime? Um, um, so we're doing a, a comedic piece. Yep. about um, motherhood and the stereotypes of motherhood that mm. we can portray. So we have, like, the OCD mom and the helicopter mom. It's good. It's got, it's got, um, I mean, it's got meat. There's a lot of comedy yeah. material to work with there. Melina, is there any chance that you should not be on the phone to us and working on this right now? Um, well, my gang is kind of split up right now, so we can't exactly get together. Yeah. And That's today thing, was our only chance, and we got completely sidetracked. Malia, so... you're exactly where I am. You're, just, you're looking down the barrel of a daunting public performance for something you have zero confidence in your own abilities to pull off. Yeah. The most exactly. important thing you can do here is take your mind off it, get relaxed. <laughs> God knows I'm going to kick back tonight with a few glasses of red and just watch a bit of TV because oh, yeah. there's nothing you can do about it. Now, I'm not saying you should I'm have a few glasses of red. my failure. No, like you might be under 18. Don't, so don't, don't, don't you have, that. have a few glasses of red cordial. And kick ha- back. Instead of rehearsing, Hamish. Stay has, limber ha- out there, Malia. Has been talking about how cute the boy was on the public transport this morning. So, <laughs> Ham, you've got to stop doing that and get back to work. I can't, man. I'm kind of thinking about it. No, no Malia, you're going to have a lot of fun. Um, just stay limber. Stay loose, you and me both, and we're going to really bring it home tomorrow. It's Hamish and Andy. <laughs> Hamish and Andy driving you home. <laughs> I'm not buying it. I'm not bu- Hamish just turned to me, everybody, and went, my knee's a bit sore. Planting a seed. <laughs> no. Look, I do have my amazing drumming challenge tomorrow, yes. but you know full well mm. that I had to retire from being a paper boy when I was 12 years old. <laughs> Because of a recurring knee injury. It forced me out of the game. <laughs> Sidelined me, Ando. Yeah, I know. And it must be something about yeah. the stool set up and my foot on that kick drum yeah. 
that's just rejigging that injury. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not going to be able to take the stage tomorrow. Well, you but have to. I'm under an injury cloud <laughs> okay. at best. We had your wife on earlier in the show, Ham. It's between you and her, essentially. You've bought a new electronic drum kit. Yep. She doesn't want it in the house for good reason. It's bulky. It's pretty it's big. It's the third one you've bought. You just, sold the other two because you didn't use them. Just doesn't believe All the that real I, reasons. Yeah, she just doesn't believe that I care enough yeah. about drums to dedicate a whole room to an electronic drum kit. Yep. So you said that you'd learn the song Stairway to Heaven by the end of the month. This now, is... I did let a good 24 to 25 days of that month slip by yeah. without really working on my I project. It came out quite hard, actually. I, yeah, I that first it, day. I... First day you did a lot, and then you let it slip for a while. But last week, you've been into it. For, well, geez, last five, four or five days, mm. I've really been thinking about this to the point where I'm sick of it. Another <laughs> <laughs> That's not boding well for wanting to keep a drum kit. You're already sick of it. Regan joins us on the phone. He's in a band called Bonger. It's a Triple J favourite, legendary band. They're playing uh, a gig tomorrow night, Ham, yep. and essentially they've let you join them for, so, for a separate of, gig. For Soundcheck, and now we've sold tickets to Soundcheck <laughs> where we will be trying to play Stairway to Heaven. Regs, how are you? Good, mate. How are you? Hey, yeah, Regan, mate, is it not, not a bad. bad idea as a business model, say for like Coldplay, to sell some tickets to their Soundcheck at a, at a reduced rate? It's, it's genius. I, I can't believe we haven't actually thought of this before. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I saw some Instagram footage before as well, and you're actually pretty sharp. Uh, yeah. well, thank you, Riggs. <laughs> I did post a little last-ditch um, plea for people to buy tickets. Oh, uh, the film was amazing. The durr, durr, oh, I, was just, I was loving it. Hey, he's going well, Regan. Uh, no. Look, here's the thing, Regan. I've managed to get through the song in a sloppy but acceptable fashion. Mm. Now, whether or not I can do that on stage for you guys is a huge, <laughs> huge maybe, this is, which is why I wanted to talk to you quickly before tomorrow. Like, we're a team out there, aren't we? We're, it's all about covering each mm. other. Certainly is. Okay. <laughs> I suppose in a normal band, you all have an assumption that everyone's learnt the song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just checking. <laughs> yes, yes. This is um, just wondering if if you haven't, if there's ever a thing where, um, you know, who's, what's the lead singer's name? Moz. 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 Yeah. Um, I might need to catch up with him beforehand and just go through the song and go, there's going to be a few bits where he needs to turn to me and not do an obvious gesture, like cue me in, yeah. but just wink so I we'll, know we'll, that the bits coming up. Certainly we'll the do bi- the old hand up in the air. We'll, there'll be no worries. We'll cue you a couple of times. And, yeah. um, so that's no pressure, but the drummer usually drives the band, so we'll be... Um, that's the we'll thing. Be, yeah. you're, you're our backbone. It, yeah, but it's not going to be that way, is yeah, it? Because, the most flimsy, um, back, most flimsy um, backbone you know, I've seen. There's, be, there's, so been, jump- a, there's been an incident where the band's <laughs> dived into shallow water and unfortunately the backbone's not in the not in as good a nick as it used to be to <laughs> Jellyfish of a backbone. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's pretend we're an invertebrate tomorrow. <laughs> Riggs, how, oh. how how are you guys feeling about the song? We're all right, mate. We we've given it a few runs and we're fairly confident, even though it's in- incredibly difficult. But um, we know we've got one of Australia's best dramas behind <laughs> us. So I think hey, Riggs, fine. it's also an important gig for you guys tomorrow night. Have you put enough practice into that gig? <laughs> Yeah, no, we should be fine. That's all that ages ago, so we're stoked. But, you know, it's all about the stairway at the moment. Jeez, man, two sellouts in one day, pretty good. (laughs) Well, not yet. 315 tickets have been sold. Okay. Which is far more than I thought people would be bothered coming down for one song only. Especially for a lunchtime lunchtime gig. The other other quick question, Ham, you haven't asked him about your position on the stage. Oh, yeah. How would you feel about front drums? (laughs) Oh, front and center, please. Get out the but crowd. actually, no, no, now that we've said it, uh, then if I can't see anyone, I don't know what's going on. I might go to the back. I think I'm going to back, back in the back. Back in the back and actually on the floor so you guys are on stage and people can just see my head <laughs> from behind the stage. Oh, <laughs> really? I can't wait. It will be, it'll be all time, mate. You just, you just show up with some energy drinks and some sweatbands and we'll rock it. God, okay, I can't good. wait. Thanks, Rex. Thanks huge. to the band. Bonja is the name of the band, everybody. And Haim, all right. good luck tomorrow, Thank my friend. You Mate, but yeah. look, if I told you tomorrow you're meeting yeah. the Chinese president in mm. a diplomatic mission, you need to speak fluent Mandarin, yeah. and you've just been practicing. You know, you you know you've got knee how down, but you don't have much else. <laughs> That's how I feel. Hands off Friday, everybody. Hamish Daddy went to and last Friday live for us for a while, and we're about to go on break. Yes. Got the next three weeks off. But boy, is this a big show! You, I'm surprised you're not asleep because the adrenaline drop yeah. from when you left the stage post at 12.38 today, post a gig, a live performance of Stairway to Heaven on your electronic drum kit. I mean, how are you feeling now? I mean, I just got off stage, uh, took my headband off, threw it at one of my roadies, mm. slumped on the tour bus um, and just 
did a bit of press. East Coast was uh, yeah, wanted to talk to me. West Coast was just waking up. So I got a new album coming out. So I had to do a bit. Of, that's the annoying part of it. That's the showbiz side of it. But yeah, yeah man, I was sprawled out on my king size bed in my tour bus for <laughs> a couple of hours post gig. This whole thing is to see whether Hamish's wife will let him keep his electronic drum kit. The next hour will take you through the nerves of Hamish getting up, playing in front of what turned out to be 600 people yep. that rocked up, paying customers for this gig. Have. Now, by the end of the hour, we'll get my wife on the phone. Zoe was there. Yep. She watched the gig. Yep. She didn't give me really any read afterwards as to which way she was going to go. No. You know what I think I might have seen in her eye? What? Oh, he's so good up there that what if I lose him to drumming? <laughs> okay, I, you, were I, you getting that vibe I from was her? sitting next to her and the words she said didn't give me that vibe. Okay, okay. <laughs> Haim, what a day. Yeah. I'm going to say off the bat, I'm proud of you. Thank you, man. I'm proud of you. Because you rocked up. And you I rocked on. on. <laughs> well, rock, rock up and rock out. That's the two things I had to do today and I did both. If you've just joined the show, maybe even for the first time, Welcome. But exactly one month ago, and I'll try and be brief, Hamish, you bought another electronic drum kit. It mm-hmm. was going to clutter, up, clutter your house up. Yep. Your wife didn't want it. You've already had two previously, yep. and that you sold because you didn't use them. One almost at a profit. And you <laughs> said, I will learn stairway to heaven, and if it impresses my wife enough, and Zoe said, that's fine. If you can do it well enough, you can keep it. It escalated. Yeah. We've got a whole band involved, a band called Bonja, very reputable band. They've got a huge gig tonight at the Corner Hotel. They agreed to open the doors earlier today. 600 paying customers at $5 a pop came for Hamish Blake for one song only, 12.30 to 12.38. And we're on time. We're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ham, let's take everyone back to yeah. when we we're backstage. I arrived. You went there very early to start rehearsing with the band. I'd already sound checked. And it's important to at least run the song once or twice with your band, I yep. thought. I reckon we got through it three and a half times this morning. They told me it was more more than that. Was it? Maybe maybe four. The first one was a shocker. Yep. They and they were, being very, they were being really <laughs> positive. Um, but, we'd ha- you know, but then we had, like, you know, bits and pieces to organise. A few people wanted a snack, so mm. we had to kind of break. And then it was... I think when we caught up, there was no more rehearsing. No more done. rehearsing. This was sort of like you'd, you'd half it, an hour before the doors opened. Exactly. You had a good hour at it, and I was going to see how you're feeling. Okay, we're backstage. This is it. This is happening. We're in the band room. Can I get out that window, do you reckon? <laughs> sealed. <laughs> sealed. The toilet window is completely sealed. Have I'm, to do it. Have I, to do it. I didn't come to sound check or rehearsal because yep. I want this fresh later on. How do you think you're feeling? Well, my biggest mistake in rehearsal was only ever playing along to the Led Zeppelin track mm. because that's like playing on stage with mm. the best band in the world. Mm. And if you muck up, you've got the drummer from Led Zeppelin to help you out, John yeah. Bonham. Yeah. Because he's still playing. He's still playing with the track. Well, essentially, that's karaoke. Not even. Not even. Because (laughs) my part's still in there. It's It's singing along to the radio. (laughs) So when you're on stage and you realise you're the only drummer, then it hits you. And that's what hit me this morning. The the band is so good. Bonjour is so good. I feel like they're very generous to me in a way you wouldn't be generous if a guy had come as your new drummer. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And also, um, there's just... There's so many different parts of this song that um, Regan, the guitarist, what a legend, because I never know where to come in for my big drum fill moment. Yeah. So there's three bits that sound alike, yeah. right? He shakes his head for the first two bits. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then we've got a signal where he starts nodding and that means I'm cocked, like ready to go. Yeah, that means I've got one bar to yeah, go yeah. and like this is it because yeah. I kept coming in early on the big bit. Yeah. Just because I know you very well. When a crowd comes in, I know, and I wasn't going to tell you this, but I'm telling you now, we've sold over 500 tickets. Jeez. <laughs> when a crowd comes in, you tend to play to the crowd and not pay any attention I to anyone. I've got to watch you guys. I know, and we're, but I told you that last time you didn't watch me. But yeah, but I, that was such an easy song. I had it, had it down. <laughs> okay. All I'm saying is, definitely, even if the crowd's there and they're loving you, yeah, I know. Stay with the band. My knees flaring. Okay, sure. Tell me if this happens in bands. Mm-hmm. So my outfit's pretty much just sports shorts, knee brace, yeah, because of the knee issue. Okay. Topless, yeah, obviously. And then I'm going to wear gloves <laughs> out, keep my hands warm. So I might get, oh, right. I might get the other guys to de-glove me. So a virgin. No, I've, I've got like snow gloves. Does that happen? I've never seen anyone come out with, a, say, a mitten. <laughs> the drummers, because I was actually looking for. We don't have oven mitts at home. Yeah, Shane, I was looking for two oven mitts. No, no. I, I mean, normally the drummer will be back here warming themselves up. Do they? Like backstage, yeah, just like on a mat or even on the couch, whatever. Do just, they really? Yes. 
I'll do that. I'll do that. You did that. <laughs> I, didn't, I thought it was bad luck to warm up. <laughs> Why would it be bad luck to don't practice? Don't use, all your, don't use all your good vibes no, in I the think change the, room. I think the whole thing is is most drummers don't think they have a finite amount of good vibes. Yeah, I do. Like, we did a good one in rehearsal and I got so annoyed because I was like, well, we've wasted one. <laughs> Good luck, good luck. I believe in you. Thanks, mate. Stick around, everybody. I I'm not trying to, you know, we glossed over it there, but my knee was flaring up <laughs> okay, in rehearsal. Okay, okay, okay. My paper round injury. <laughs> hey, um, let's bring everyone up to speed. We're at a live venue, yep. live music venue today. Earlier today, yep. You have to perform Stairway to Heaven on your electronic drum kits with the help of a very good band. Yep. They weren't going to let you down. You had to perform it to a level... To impress Zoe, she hasn't made a decision yet, but Zoe, your wife, if you do impress her, you get to keep your electronic drum kit. Otherwise, it... It goes. Yeah. I guess I just sell it. Mm. Um, now, as of Monday, mm. back, if I can rewind everyone to Monday, I was 100% sure I was going to cancel on this. I didn't know how. As soon as you said you'd organize the band, yeah. I was going to pay uh, Regan, the lead guitarist, yeah. to go down in the second minute of the song, clutching yeah. his ankle, and yeah. then just have to go, well, we can't do the song. Yeah. But... Unfortunately, then you were like, oh, well, let's get a crowd in. So yeah. then it would be letting all those people down. So you foxed me. You pushed me into a corner. <laughs> and also, and that was Regan, a while, but... Regan's one of my friends. And so <laughs> yeah. he's not going to do I that. I would have upped the money. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, I was just annoyed in the sense I was a wild animal. And mm. I had no choice but to do the unthinkable, mm. which was practice. Be tamed. <laughs> now, I was, obviously, it's, it was a lot of music to try and learn in a few days. But here we are. We're going to pick up the action this is about five minutes before going on stage. The traditional band huddle. I'd got into my stage gear, which is essentially just running shorts, had my knee brace on because <laughs> we all know that right knee was a worry from an old paper round injury that was flaring up. And uh, then just sort of sweatbands. Had a camel back on too so I could stay hydrated. And yeah, it's tradition before you go out on stage in front of you know a crowd that's nearly 600 people. Have a chat. You have a chat. Hi right, guys. Hannah. Um, are you guys dressed? Yeah, 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 you guys are. Yeah. You're, 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 you're undressed. <laughs> well, you've seen me in rehearsal. I generate so much heat that it would be madness to drum with a to top on. And I just don't think, like, as a, from a fire safety thing, that would be smart. Can we just talk about the get up? For, that is an outstanding. Like, you've done well. Yeah, I mean, thanks, well, thanks, man. We have the socks pulled up, which is just an outstanding look. We have the knee brace on the right. Yep. We have incredible running shorts. Snow gloves? Snow just, gloves, yeah. Snow gloves? Keep the mitts warm and before I drop. what is this? What's going on? That's my back for camelback. stay hydrated. And you can't forget the headband and, of course, the uh, the goggles, which it's just an outstanding get-up. Look, if it gets too bright out there, I've got eye protection. I don't think it will, but it's all about being prepared out there, guys. You guys you guys got extra guitars and stuff? Yeah, uh, no. Yeah, no, we'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good luck. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Pumped. Yeah, yeah, good. Excited. Yeah. Rehearsals went well. Yeah, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. Let's just stay loose out there, not rush. This is mostly advice for me. Enjoy yeah. the moment. <laughs> Enjoy the moment. Yeah. Try and remember all of the songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good luck. Let's have fun out there. This is going to be the greatest eight minutes of my drumming career. And, um, you know, if you guys weren't playing the best and greatest gig of your lives tonight, I'm sure this would be a massive highlight for you too. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. It's brilliant. brilliant. Stay in time. In. Stay together. Have fun. Let's rock. Let's do it. Boom. Right. Boom. Let's rock. Rock. That's right, guys. Let's rock. One, two, three. <laughs> rock, rock. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Sorry, my timing will be better than that. On the, on the stage. <laughs> I messed up the one, two, three hands in, <laughs> yeah, which yeah. is a bad sign. You rushed it, I think, which is a bad sign for a drummer. Bad sign for the drummer. As you were doing that, Ham, I caught up with your wife who just arrived. She was in awe of the crowd that had come. Yeah. And obviously there's a lot Sometimes of pressure on you and there's also a pressure on her because she is the final decision after all this as to whether you get to keep your electronic drum kit. True. Like, she's very busy during the day. I don't think she really knows what you and I get up to. <laughs> she was in shock. <laughs> uh, this was a bit of a weird one. I mean, going, you guys have really been taking this seriously. <laughs> so you've made it. Yes, I'm here. 550 people here. Gosh, that's a lot. I mean, is there any more pressure on the decision? I don't want this to sway you either way because, remember, this is a moment and the electronic drums in your house is forever. I know, I know. You're right, you're right. And I'm very proud of him. He seems too cocky, I would say, really? which makes me think that he knows that he's, he's got it. No, I think I've seen this before. Oh, okay. it's, when, it's, it's either he knows it or he definitely knows he doesn't have it. Oh, okay, all right. He do, but he is a bit nervous right now. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's done about 19 wees <laughs> in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, no. I'm nervous too now. I just realised this is a big decision. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. I'll just enjoy the show <laughs> and think about that later. <laughs> well, I'll be sitting there next to you. Um, certainly any excitement you get, I'm going to try and dampen that down because I know oh. the decision is a big one. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And it's my house, so that's really considerate of you to think of that. <laughs> I mean, I was worried she can all get caught up in the excitement or something. I know. But, you know, as we've said, the electronic drums is not just for Christmas. This is a full-time commitment for her. This is a career for me. (laughs) (laughs) You want to hope she doesn't say yes, because then it'll be between radio and drumming. Yeah. And I'm... Dare I say, I show a real talent for one (laughs) and not the other. (laughs) Stick around, everybody. The other side of this, the performance. Yeah. And, Haim, I'm not sure if you've listened back to it, but... Only uh, highlights. <laughs> <laughs> the performance, everybody, upon which he'll be judged. It's Hamish and Andy. <laughs> Haim, we can delay this no further. It's time to give the people what they need, Ando. Well, whether it's what they need, it's certainly what they were promised. <laughs> time to give the people what we're going to force upon them. Haim, long story short, if you successfully played the drum part on your electronic drum kit, on the drum part of Stairway to Heaven... Yep. To your wife's liking, yep, you get to keep the electronic drums. She was there at the corner hotel. She was on a little pedestal alongside me, and your mum was there as well next to her. Yeah, mum, mum, <laughs> mum, mum came to catch the gig. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kobe. Nearly six hundred people paying customers, even though it only went on sale on Tuesday, rocked up paying five dollars for a gig that only went for eight minutes. The atmosphere was electric, as well as the drums. <laughs> and uh, but what we're about to hear, we're going to hear the full version. This is from 12.30, when we said that the gig would go from 12.30 to 12.38. We're going to hear the performance. People out there. Bit of a special for R&B Friday, guys. And uh, led <laughs> Stairway to Heaven, one of, the, one of the top 10 R&B songs of all time. People out there, listen, though, because we're going to need your help. We would love to know your opinion. Yeah. Um, obviously, Zoe, your wife, Ham, has the final say. Yeah. But we'd love to hear Australia's thoughts soon as well. But this is it, the performance, and um, best of luck, old chum. Thanks, mate. Good early afternoon, everyone. Seems like the right turnout. And welcome to Hamish Blake for one song only. Yeah. You guys know the stakes. If he plays it well, he gets to keep this electronic drum kit at his house. If he doesn't, he has to sell it like he probably should because it's a piece of junk. <laughs> Hamish's wife is sitting over there <laughs> to judge it. Um, yeah. Hamish's mum's come along for moral support, which I know is not the coolest thing for a rock band member to do. <laughs> Have their mum on a pedestal over there. I'm going to do it, mum. Um, But anyway, for those of you who have parked in a uh, a five-minute spot, you may have to leave halfway through the gig. (laughs) But the rest of you will be able to stay the full eight minutes. Big thanks go to the band Bonja. Uh, I know a lot of you guys already know Bonja. Amazing band. If you don't know them, you're about to hear how good they are. But let me introduce the band for everybody. On the bass, Dave, everyone. Thank you for welcome. On lead guitar, Regan, everyone. You would have heard her on the radio show. On lead vocals, Moz, everyone. The man of the moment. On lead electric drums, Hamish Blake, everyone. (laughs) Good luck, Ham. The fate of your drum kit. Rests on your shoulders. You guys love drums or what? Yeah? Okay, sorry, I was going to take my gloves off for a sec. Uh, just keeping the hands warm. Can I get a little bit? Ah, oh, no, that's fine. Hey, guys, we're going to play a little tune for you now you might know called Stairway to Heaven. How are you feeling, Zoe? <laughs> oh, nervous. <laughs> For him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, normally the lead guitarist and the lead vocalist get all the chicks, but do you feel like the drummer's got them covered today? Yeah, and he decided not to wear a shirt, which I think was deliberate, so he would get the chicks <laughs> and the drum kit. Hands off, Ab. All right, let's consider this. There's a lady, a song, or the glitters. 
wants his gold And she's buying the stairway to heaven When she gets there she knows If the stars are all closed And the way she can get what she came for Buying the stairway to heaven In my thoughts I have seen He's just been quite a white, hasn't he? I don't know who's one of us now oh, He's ready, look at him, he's pumped Did he have any alcoholic help before this? <laughs> Might have needed a couple of shots <laughs> Great I don't know what's in his camel back No, I'm... yes, might be pure tequila <laughs> And the piper will lead us I thought it was then. I thought it was coming in there. Me too. No. Again, not. <laughs> He's looking at Regan because Regan keeps shaking his head, saying, don't come in. <laughs> but he keeps bobbing like he's just about to go. Because I think he thinks he's meant to. And then he gets getting called off. Oh, God. Does he have his sheet music? No. no. Oh. Oh, okay. That's hard. No, he doesn't know how to read sheet music. Right. It, it doesn't matter. I was at home last night. I was very impressed. <laughs> The more the guitars are getting bumped around, like the more that they rock their guitars, proves that Hamish isn't in time. <laughs> I would give what he just did a B minus, by the way. I think he messed up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> he can bring it back. Oh, yes, here we go.
Thanks very much. We're called the Good Enoughs. There you go, Ham. Okay. How was it? Did, was it? did it feel the same listening back to it when you were up there? Sure. I mean, some's been edited out for speed. Um, <laughs> it's about a nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But uh, an well, excellent. I, I wouldn't say we took anything. No, no. I mean, it was just amazing. Trun- or anything slightly. bad out. I feel like. No, you left got... all the amazing stuff in. Thank yeah. you for that. <laughs> um, look, there's a few things I would have done differently. Mm. I mean, any drummer listening to that, mm. I now know enough about drumming to go. Any drummer listening to that would be, it would be like, I suppose a surgeon watching ER going, <laughs> <Yeah>. no, <laughs> that's not how you people do it. People are already calling up. Why don't we do okay. 13, 10, 60. Why don't we do this then? If people want to, uh, what are your thoughts? Can I say though, what are from, your thoughts? from a boyhood fantasy level, mm. dream come true. And yeah. thank you to Bonja. Like yes. what legends to go, okay, mate, we can let you have your little, your little gig. Honest opinions on the open line, 13, 10, 60. Did he play it well enough to get to keep them? This is the big the drums. That's uh, the thing. I mean, and, did and you play it perfectly? Until this came no. along, Brexit was probably the biggest voting issue of today. <laughs> yeah. And now this surpasses Brexit. Yeah, exactly. Drum, Drexit. <laughs> Drum exit. Will my drums leave or will they stay? What's the vote on Drexit? Trevor, your vote on Drexit? <laughs> Oh, I reckon he goes them. Remain. He <laughs> Remain. He, done he votes for God, Remain. Man. Okay, wow. Hey, okay, Trev, Amy, thank you. rock. Oh, you rock, Amy. Mate, so do you for appreciating rock. <laughs> thank you, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, your thought on Drexit? Well, I think so. We should let him keep it because it was incredible. It was freezing cold and I headed there and I was like, oh. You're in the crowd, You're in the crowd Chelsea. Were you in the crowd, Chelsea? Yes. Yeah, I was, and I was blown away. I was actually lifted up into the air. Right. So, Chelsea, can I ask you this? Were you blown away because you had such a low expectation? Oh, that's cruel. I would say that I was lifted up in the air, the atmosphere, and he looked so professional. The camelback. The camelback, that's true. That's a little drummer's think, trick. You've got to stay hydrated know, during what, your gig. What I want to stress here, it's... So uh, you're saying, Eddie, was, it, was, think, was think, it like watching a baby get a ball, basketball in from the free throw line? <laughs> yes. Where you're like, well, anyone can do that, but a baby can't. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, taking nothing away from you, because you were very well, you good. you just called me a baby. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you did. Yeah, you I agreed. Rapidly agreed. <laughs> <laughs> but so taking some things away from you... <laughs> Um, I would say, though, yes, everyone would be surprised, but don't let the halo of surprise <laughs> influence a decision that's going to be lifelong for Zoe. I just want to keep a balance for your wife. No, here. I understand. You're the foreman of the jury. <laughs> <laughs> you are voting very much for, Bre- for Dregsit. <laughs> um, uh, Bevan, what are you thinking on the drum exit Dregsit? Ahoy, boys. How are you going? Oh, yeah, well, wait. Ahoy, Bev. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I am a semi-professional musician. I've played in bands for a while, and I'd be very, very happy to jam along with Hamish. It was tremendous. Jamable. Oh, right. Jamable. That's, oh, that's, that's, it. that's, and that's vote, a, vote to remain. What was the biggest yep. gig you'd played, Bevan? Was this- uh, I played, oh, it was, a, I think, 1,000 people at the Bendigo Easter Festival. Oh, there you go, Han. The Bendigo Easter Festival. So what Bevan's saying is you could play one day. Be- one day. If you jam One, enough yeah. with him or I could at the be, Bendigo Easter Festival. I could be backstage and after <laughs> Bevan's finished playing the BEF, he can hop off and we can have a jam together, which I would love. Thank you, Bevan. Simon, you are a drummer. Ooh. This is, um, well, this is interesting. It, it'll be interesting to, to, to find out. Do you think Hamish gets to keep the drums or not? Oh, my God. I'll pick him up and take him over to his house now. Really? You think he's, 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 he's in the slot? You reckon he got it? Well done, Ham. Well done, mate. Well have. Done. Can I say, Simon, I mean, I keep saying that people say I've got natural percussive talent. Mm. Andy says no one said that. It's all about the swagger and you've got it. But would you say, Simon, that I have natural percussive talent? Yes, definitely. And now it's been said, Andy. Well, no, he hasn't said it. Can you please say the sentence, Simon? Cut him off, Jack. (laughs) (laughs) Cut him off, Jack. Jack, cut him off! (laughs) It remains to have been said. (laughs) We will talk to your wife after this, everyone. Amish man. (laughs) Hame, the time is nigh. It all lies in your wife's hands. It does. This is the opposite of the referendum they had in Britain, and <laughs> yeah. It comes down to one person. Well, it's kind, of, it's kind of the same. I mean, not to get too technical, but the government doesn't actually have to listen to the referendum. That's true. Zoe's the government. <laughs> Zoe's the government. The people can say everything they want, but Zoe can vote for a remain vote for the electronic drums to say my position yeah. or a leave. <laughs> a dregsit. A drum exit. <laughs> to recap just quickly, Haim... 
this is part of your performance in front of 600 people earlier today when you got out and you electronic drummed your heart out with the band Bonja. Mm. One of my highlights, I think, is uh, this moment, Ham, where the drums kind of came in, mm. a lot of nerves around it, and, uh, and we're going to have a look back at, I suppose, one of the moments. Are these like your, the worst bits or the no, best no. bits? No, no. I reckon this one... Are these just bits? This just capsulates it. Hot off hearing that, Good. people called in, in droves, Sam, and uh, look, we only got to four callers, this is all of those, and Zoe, your wife, stands by listening to this recap. Drum exit, will my drums leave or will they stay? What's the vote on Drexit? Oh, I reckon he goes them. Remain. He, <laughs> remain. he, remain. he votes for God. remain. <laughs> you rock. I am a semi-professional musician. I've played in bands for a while That's and good. I'd be very, very happy to jam along with Hamish. It was tremendous. Jamable. Oh, right. Jamable. Jamable. I think so. We should let him keep it. I was blown away. I was actually lifted up into the air. Oh, my God. I'll pick him up and take him over to his house now. Well done, Ham. Well done, mate. But would you say, Simon, that I have natural people Cussie of talent. Yes, definitely. And now it's been said. Well, no, he hasn't said it. Can you please say the sentence? Cut him off, Jack. (laughs) (laughs) Cut him off, Jack. Jack, cut him off. (laughs) So it's never been said. (laughs) But as the opposition to my natural percussive vibe, you're beginning to panic and you're beginning to look desperate, Ando. Oh, no, no. Oh, wow. I mean, you screamed, cut him off when someone was going to give me a positive review. (laughs) I am proud of you. You're the foreman of the jury. I'm proud of you, but I also understand it's a big decision for Zoe, and the weight of the people doesn't mean it's necessarily the right decision. She joins us now, my beautiful wife. Don't try How and butter you? her up. How are you, honey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't try and butter me up. Um, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Zoe, Australia, and probably more precisely, one man, Hamish Blake, he has been waiting for this decision been a month coming, but probably really caught fire this week. <laughs> I, s- I stand on the precipice here, honey, but I want you to know that whatever you say, I'll take it on the chin. I tried my best, and whether I won or lost, I know that I got a PB out there. I will say this, though. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> how romantic it could be if I'm playing you a love song on drums in the bedroom. I don't think that exists. I don't think you can. <laughs> it's not like a flamenco guitar. <laughs> I'm really clutching his drawers. <laughs> and you'd have to be wearing the headphones because it's an electronic kit. <laughs> so that I'd have to stop, get out from the kit, take the headphones off, power down for safety, put the sticks away and then, then get it off. Get into bed. <laughs> it's probably a bit clunky. So don't think of that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. That's gone. I promise to never do that. <laughs> can you promise to never buy big things for the house? Again, before like, oh, here's a negotiation here. This yeah. is great. Very well done, Zoe. So she's obviously putting forth mm. that... There's got to be some sort of size that we agree on. You're allowed to buy anything under that size. Like a but stencil that it can no. fit through. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, if it can fit it's through... In a post box, if, it's allowed. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, honey? <laughs> yes? I cannot make that promise. No, I know. <laughs> you know I can't. I knew that when I married you. <laughs> okay, Zoe. Okay. I've weighed up everything. Mm-hmm. I was there. I heard it. I felt the magic. Um, well, I saw on Snapchat you gave me a B minus at the start. <laughs> yeah, at the start. Was, hey, don't interrupt the judge. Do you, don't, you don't get yeah, to. Yeah, don't interrupt the judge. Apologies, <laughs> Your Honour. Um, look, if I was a critic, I, I would award you, and I am. <laughs> I would award you. I would give you four out of five. Mm-hmm. I would take one point off because um, you weren't technically flawless. Mm-hmm. However, you know that. I know that everyone there knew that, but I will award you the four stars for passion, mm-hmm. for for good. Um, I would say a good grasp of the song. It's, yep, a, it's yep. a precious song to me. That's why I named it. It's one of our favourite songs. Mm-hmm. And um, I would award you uh, a a small amount of NPT, the natural percussive talent. Okay. And therefore, I will allow. Oh, remain, remain, remain. The opposite of what happened in England.
but Britain leaves, but the kit remains. The kit remains in the Hamish and Zoe union. People have run from the sales department here. Everyone's so happy because I've been practising and no one's got any work done for the last week. Well, yeah, I'm helping out the station. Zoe, <laughs> we are so happy in here that that's going. Oh, I haven't been able to get flowing. any attention to Hamish for a whole week. We cannot be and happier in, protest, in here. And protest, I'm never going to pay attention again. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll never touch it again. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I am, you know, I'll give him a, I'll give him a few weeks rest because I'm a bit sick of it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm scared that I, I'm scared in all honesty now that I might have got it out of my system. <laughs> oh, so but they're coming home, and when the passion reignites, they'll be there waiting for me. Thank you so much, Zoe. I mean, Ando, I've been so, on them non stop. You've got to have a break. Even bloody Slash goes on holidays without his guitar, surely. <laughs> Thanks, honey. 